sponsored by BetterHelp. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of That One Piece Talk. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Lionel. Sam. And this is That One Piece Talk, where we talk One Piece. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for making it to another episode, episode 140. We are racking up these numbers Damn. fairly quickly. 140? 140. For real? Yeah. Shout out to all the single moms out there. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's, yeah, yeah, y'all doing good, bro. Y'all doing good. I wonder how many of our uh, viewers are single moms, man. I hope not a lot. Word. Yeah. Word. But if you are, I hope you got a good man. How, how at your boy? Larry, what? If they're single, how do they have a good man? No, he's saying he's hoping that they're not. Oh. Yeah. 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 I think you should not tune in. But if they are single, okay. Try your best, yo. Tap in. Lock, lock in. <laughs> Super chat. <laughs> what are we talking about, man? Super chat. Yeah, why, why, why is it bringing up? Why is it coming up? This is it a cover page? What's going we'll, on? We'll, we'll get to that. So <laughs> we'll get head. to that. For sure. <laughs> but single moms lock in. Yeah, single moms tap in, yo. <laughs> single single dads, yo. Yeah, about to start singing Beyonce song or something? <laughs> Listen, man. It's a good song. Yeah, it is a good song. You don't like Beyonce? That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that is wild. That's crazy. He Yo. already came at like the Swifties, mm-hmm. and now he wants the Beehive on him. Mm-hmm. What did the Swifties? Oh my God! All right. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing episode it will be for today's agenda. We will be discussing and reviewing One Piece chapter eleven o eight by Viz Media. If you haven't liked the video yet, please do. We have a Discord. Don't be hesitant to join. If you listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, please leave us five stars and a nice comment. We will read all your super chats organically. I've been on the other side of the screen. I know what it's like to super chat, and I know what it's like to wait impatiently for us to read your super chat. So I get it, I get it, but sometimes since we're a podcast, we get lost in conversation. But that doesn't mean that your super chat goes unnoticed. So with that forewarning, I want to say thank you for even thinking about doing it. Um, Thank you for always supporting us. Now, let's say what's up to chat, read some super chats, and then hop into the chapter. Uh, Yeah, we got a lot of people in chat today, man. I see a whole bunch of y'all. There's 342 people currently watching, but only 115 likes. Please hit that like button. Like the stream. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. But I see Twilight Straw Hat, GU Zoro, Blazer, Blazer, Beep, Boop, Bop, (laughs) Uh, Patty Melts. That's a a new one. Mary Senpai, Nick Quavo, Poonter, Mary Senpai. I said Mary Senpai. Michael Rojas, Trev, uh, United States of Blur. Blur, what's up, bro? I feel like it's been a while. Sonny Price, Brandon Wigfall, uh, Akazmi Zombie. I always get his name wrong. Uh, Logan Dismukes, Ryu Hayabusa, Young Lou, Logan Dismukes. I said Logan Dismukes. I keep reading names over. Uh, Kirby, Mr. Apologies, uh, Austin Hart, Tarif Spencer, Mamba Kid, Stevie Lewis, uh, the dumb one, <laughs> Bro Noah D. Mooney. Uh, just so many of y'all in chat. Jay Porter, Rasta Vibe and Gaming, Trey Buss, Hancho D. Hose, Connor Cole, King. Liam, uh, just so many. Uh, Dr. D. Max, Project Iceman, Charles McBean, Joseph Martin, Alan Wells, God D. Usopp, Balag- Balagato, Lemon- Lemonade T, uh, Globnar, Dre the Hebrew. Just so many y'all in chat, man. Hit that like button, please. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. 
And yes, we did have a few Super Chats, but before I read Super Chats, I did want to read off a special announcement from our mod Quavo um, in regards to the Discord. So a couple of weeks ago, in our Discord server, we implemented a One Piece betting game. Every Sunday at around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will post three questions relating to the next chapter. Everyone starts with 1,000 coins and can try to bet on the correct answer. There are live odds and updates as people bet, so the payouts vary depending on everyone else's choices. With your winnings, you can continue to bet or redeem them for rolls or XP. There are methods to make money other than winning bets, and they can be found in the Bet Commands channel. The bets do close at 9 p.m. Eastern Time that same day that they are dropped, but with the crackdown on leaks, we'll be monitoring to see if the window can be expanded in the coming weeks. More on that later. All this can be found in the One Piece betting category channel on our Discord. For more information or questions, feel free to add a mod, and they will help you out. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, it's not real money. <laughs> yes, it's not real money, <laughs> Just want to point that out. I feel uh, like Nick didn't say that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not real money. It's not real money. It's completely fake. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like Discord coins. It's yeah. berries. It's yeah, like berries. It's berries, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. It's, it's Discord berries. berries. Yeah. yeah. But it should be a lot of fun. I know we, we had a betting channel about sports betting, and people really seem to like it. I think integrating it into the One Piece chapter should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Just know... Oda don't care about your parlays. All right, so. <laughs> also, there's no chapter 1109 leaks happening inside the Discord. I mean, the Discord or currently right now the YouTube chat. Right. So please refrain from any spoilers. Mods will just ban you. Yes. No spoilers. 1109 ain't out, and we ain't read it yet. Yeah. All right. All right, we did get a $2 super chat from Poonter. It says, what's your opinion on Lizaru? <laughs> hashtag Blackbeard Top 1, hashtag Read Kingdom. Uh, I agree with that last piece. <laughs> Read Kingdom. Uh, we got... Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about Kazara later. We got another uh, subscription to Shichibukai status from Roanoa D. Mooney. Um, welcome to Shijibukai status, enjoy the emojis that come with being a warlord. Another five from Trey Bus. It says, ready for another fire episode. Been waiting for this reaction. Hashtag bringing it back. Hashtag Luchi Larry. <laughs> Trey been around for a while, man. We got another five from Dumb Society 64. It says, let's go back for another episode of Goat Peace. Hashtag law has fire takes. Hashtag T-O-P-T gang. Hashtag where the Sanji hype now. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Is he talking about me? Thank you. Yeah. Thank um, you, guys. I appreciate that. We have another. Um, we have a couple of subscriptions to Nakama, Shichibukai, and Warlord Status, uh, Jaden Ramos, David Stenson, and Sambad Mitra. So enjoy oh, all the you. emojis that come with being a Nakama. We're glad to have you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Another two from Hunter D. Hose. It Jesus. says, take a shot every time Larry mentions Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not drinking today. Probably not drinking today. I haven't mentioned him yeah, in a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Huh. We got another two from Kremit. It says, my mom's single, LMAO. I don't need law as a stepdad. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Tap in. No way. Tap in. Yo, tell her, tell her law said hi. <laughs> Hi. We got another five I from Kryptonite21. <laughs> it says, let's go. I haven't read the chapter, so explain it good, Larry. Why are you here if you haven't read the chapter? <laughs> Hashtag Larry has good takes. Hashtag Seb is a goat. Hashtag the twins are not real. <laughs> not real? I assure you my hockey is real. Uh-huh. We got another 10-month membership to Warlord Status from Project Iceman. It says, want to get this before the Super Chats get out of hand. Kazaru made his bed. Cog in wheel. Gotta say, not conk behavior. Hashtag agenda piece. Hashtag Yonkos over admirals. Shout out to you, Iceman. We got another 7-month membership that. to Nakama Status from King Cagney. It says, the week three need power-ups. The week three. The, no, probably the, the weekly trio. Nami, Usopp, yeah. Yeah. and Chopper. I agree. Chopper. I agree. Another five from Bill. It says, do we think the thing Shanks told the Gorosei was Blackbeard's special lineage? Probably. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Another five from Shadow. It says, hey, T.O.P.T. crew, if Saturn comes back to Emu a failure for not eliminating Luffy, will he face any consequences? I would love to see that. I would also love to see Saturn just not make it out. 
But Emu absolutely wrecking one of his like people like that. Mm. I would like that. It would be foolish on his part, in all honesty. But yeah. they don't be doing th- things good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like they they've been they make, failures. It's a lot of mistakes made yeah. by the world government. Yeah. No, no, no. We got another two from Hung Ki. <laughs> Come on. Bro. Who y'all giving the N word pass in one piece? Zoro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Luffy getting it, bro. Yeah. Luffy, Luffy can do that. That's all I'm going to say. Luffy Wait, can what? say it. Just have it? Kuma. <laughs> Kuma. <laughs> Kuma. Kuma wouldn't say it. That's the problem. He would be allowed to and just wouldn't say Sometimes it. the people that obtain the power they don't want mm-hmm. are the best ones to have it. Uh huh. Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy will not say it exactly. He's gonna make you my Nika. You know the Nika fruit. Come on, Lawrence. Right? Come on. It's a, it's a Yo, I'm moving Yo on, real bro. talk, bro. <laughs> Big Mom. Big Mom right. can definitely. Yeah. Say. She she's let enough dark skins in there. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, bro. You went that way. For I was sure, not bro. Crazy. For so sure. She she's for the team, bro. For the team. She for the team. Yeah. Yeah. Bon Clay, maybe. I'm good on that. Just because he's that real, bro. Bunk. Yeah. Nah. Ah. You know who can't say it? Anel can't say it. He got. Nah, he has, can't say it. He has a hard, hard like <laughs> Albert. <attack. He's>, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Albert's like the one legit. Um, Albert. Dark, I had the dark skinned person we have in here. He's he seems more Uncle Tommy to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Maybe, maybe I'm. A, maybe I'm. No. What? I guarantee you, he's like a. He he belongs in like the Barbados, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's this is the way he, op- he has that shirt open, man. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 I don't know. He he not he not passing he the test royalty. for me, bro. He not passing the test. Um, another five <laughs> euros from Ryotaku. It says that One Piece talk mentioned. What the f is a bad podcast? <laughs> hashtag Lino the go. <laughs> hashtag Lino go. <laughs> Lino, come on. <laughs> Another 10 <Thank> you. <laughs> from Sambad Mitra. It says, been lurking for a while, but had to come out to support. Also, do you guys think Saturn and the Gorosei have artificially enhanced awakenings? The Black Awakening Clouds. Love y'all. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Mitra. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Maybe. Yeah, I could see that. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, we thought Luchi and Kaku had <laughs> fake well, awakenings. Th- so. You think because it's black, it's, it's different because Luffy's white? Yeah. But I've been led to believe, like, maybe you could artificially cause it to happen, mm-hmm. but based upon what your will is, is what it'll be colored. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. I just think we don't have enough information. Yeah, really. um, like, Luffy and them are the only awakenings we actually saw. Thanks yeah. to Zoan. Yeah. Mm. Guys, at 625, we're going to start the chapter, okay? Yeah. All right, we got another 50 from Alex Charlton. It says, mad love for this podcast. Y'all bless me, so I hope this can bless you. Hashtag TOTPT gang. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alex, so much. Very, 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 very appreciative Thank you that, so man. much. Another That's five big. from number one Sanji fan. It says, I done just about had it with Oda keeping my boy out of the action. Oda finna make me fly out there to Japan and find that. <laughs> Hashtag Zoro K. Hashtag Sanji's greater than fiction. Listen, we'll, we'll talk about Sanji later, man. But keep your head up, Sanji fan. Keep your head up. Oh, man. Another five from Connor Cole. It says, who's doing flips on who first? Luffy and Boa, Sanji and Pudding, Zoro and Hiyori, Law and Beppo, Carrot and Chopper, or Buggy and Shanks. Oh, man. I just... Law and Beppo. Come on, bro. Stop. Huge supporter. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> for relationships? I assume, bro. I'm mad Did you say Shanks and you? Wait, what's up with that, man? Yeah, I gotta stop. <laughs> Yo, <that's> true, <laughs> you gotta Listen, stop. Man. They could be in love. You don't know. Stop. Another five from Shabazz Clark. It says, I'm glad I was able to catch you all live again. What do you think Luffy's bounty will be after Egghead? Uh, and will it surpass Shanks's? Hashtag Karibo gang. That's a first. Um, if, he, if he takes out a Celestial Dragon? It's not just a Celestial. You take out a, a Gorosei and an Arrow? Yo, I might. We might have to look at five billion, bro. Nah, I don't see five we billion. We might have yet. to look at five billion. Four point five. It might to me it might pass like go up to passing Kaidos. 
at this point. Four point five minimum. It should it should already be five billion. I'm gonna be real with you. No, no it shouldn't. Yes, it should. There nope. you go again. Yeah, yeah, should. If he takes if he takes out an Amro and uh, a Celestial, I'll go. I'll say past Shanks. I'm saying past Kaido. If he takes out both, yeah. I just don't know if it would be hidden. That's the thing. They can't hide this. Yeah. And like, he'd yeah. be doing all. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like. I don't know, man. Yeah, because how is the world government going to cover this up? Like, we know. I mean, unless they don't know Saturn's there, they might not even mention Saturn, but they might see Kizaru. Yeah. But, like, because how are they going to, like, you know, change this into uh-huh. in a fable? Like, because you can't. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, all right, all right, all right. Got to find my place. We got another one from David Stenson, but no super chat attack. So thank you so much, David. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Another five from Kryptonite. It says Luffy is that guy at the end of the chapter. Dude said, "You where you think you're going?" <laughs> Luffy finally looking like old Luffy again. Don't f with his friends. Well, again, we'll get deeper into the chapter later, y'all. But yeah. for sure. Another five from Kirby. Full gang is here. Lots of sad stuff happening in the world. Feels good to unwind with the guys for a new chapter. Hashtag topped on top. Thank you, Kirby. I hope whatever you guys are going through out there, we were yeah. a help or an, mm-hmm. a positive. An escape. Yeah. yeah, thanks for giving us top, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Another five from Trey Bus. It says, longtime Spotify listener, even though I want <laughs> hashtag Lucci Larry back, Larry got the best takes. Thank you, Trey. Another Thank you. 10 from Simba J K L G. Yo, Larry, it's been a few streams since your spill about carrot, and I just want to say we boxing over carrot, bro. And I guarantee my hockey is bigger. LOL. Hashtag Garchu Gang or no gang. <laughs> Listen, bro. Your hockey may be bigger, but do you want it more? <laughs> you gotta want it bigger more, you bro. You gotta want it bigger more, bro. Bigger more. Yeah, more bigger. We got another 20 from Smacks. It says, love the pot. Love y'all for Imagine real, Imagine I for just smacks you. Yo, I'm <laughs> <laughs> for real, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> love the pot. Love y'all for real, for real. What is y'all's biggest disappointment or unused potential with this arc? Mine personally is some of the straw hats, especially Frankie, getting a little, little, getting little interaction with Vegapunk now that he's most likely gone. Um, that's an interesting one. Yeah, that's good. I think mine is just straw hats being nerfed. Straw hats being nerfed and them not learning more about, uh, like for example, they have the potential of power ups between you know Usopp, Frankie, Chopper, even Nami. You know, them learning more where they could actually utilize their stuff. Like come away with something from here. You know, like I want to see Usopp using those bubble shields. I'm walking away with something. <laughs> I'm leaving <laughs> leaving you with something. something. Um, for me, it's probably the Zoro Luchi thing. It's, yeah. just, it's just taking way too long. It just is for me. Lionel, yeah. you know, you guys said everything I agreed with. Um, because we have plenty of time for them to, uh, like, you know, like Usopp could take some of Vegapunk's um tech because obviously Reg, um Egg, Egg is getting destroyed right now. So pretty much everything's up for grabs. Like. If you know I was getting destroyed and this is the best and greatest technology, so I'm grabbing stuff, honestly. So, like, that's what I would do. But Maybe so. Usopp is. We'll see. We got another two from Bed Tundi. It says, Doflamingo would have defeated Luchi by <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yo, Loki. I don't even know about Maybe. I'm a, I'm a Dof- I'm Dofi gang, so maybe I'm underestimating Luchi, but I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. We got another five from Kevin Rizzo. It says, your thoughts, do you think Akainu will be a letdown? And as far as power scaling, Kizaru and Akainu, how far apart do you think they are? Right, so I'm a huge Akainu guy. I've always had him as the number one admiral. I've yeah. always had him top one as mm. of all the admirals that were there. Then Aokiji, then Kizaru, and then the newer ones. We'll get into scaling Kizaru a little bit later, but I don't think Akainu will be a letdown, even though people are saying that Kizaru is starting to look like one. Yeah. Which I personally disagree with, but we'll see. Y'all be saying that Blackbeard top one with just our earthquake fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Akainu did to somebody that mastered it. Mm. I'm just going to say, don't be surprised oh, if Akainu gets put down by Luffy like all the other admirals. I will agree with that. I don't think... Well, hold on. Losing to Luffy isn't like, are you weak? You know what I'm yeah. saying? As long as Luffy... If Luffy not struggling, that's different. If, if that's what you're saying, that's different. And I'm talking about, look how Kazaro got, you know, 
He basically almost he kind of got one tapped and then came back a little later. You know, I, I said, don't say, be surprised if you see something. I see, the, I mean, I'll wait till we get to it because because this brings up certain questions. Mm -hmm. But I'm just gonna wait till we get to yeah, it. Yeah, we just gotta get to it. Yeah, yeah. Luffy's gonna get stronger, and Akana doesn't look like he is. <laughs> Another five from Berserk Akuma. It says, second time catching alive. Can't wait. Heavy Spotify listener. So much love for y'all. Do y'all think Kuma gets his memories back? Hashtag Lawrence is the GOAT. Maybe. Thank you. Appreciate that. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I hope not. Honestly, I see this as... I mean, I think there should be a way to reverse it, but I kind of feel like this is the end of the line for Kuma. Sad to say, but mm -hmm. so I don't think so. I'd like him to get his memories back, but still pass. So that he passes with all that. Yeah. But it doesn't matter either way. I think he had his happy moment mm. of passing already, personally. Yeah. But whatever. Another five from Kremit. It says, do y'all bet on Discord? If so, did y'all win or lose and how much? I'm three and three. Missed out on this week, though. Hashtag, we gamble best opening. <laughs> um, it's fake money. Guys. It's fake money. Again, it's fake money. Uh, I haven't yet. I'm probably going to tap in this week just because mm -hmm. um, I'll be out of town. But I haven't yet. Yeah. I don't think Larry has, and the twins just won't, most likely. So Yeah. Another five from... Guys, we're going to get to the chapter in three minutes, okay? Yeah. There's a lot of super chats. I told you. We got to <laughs> give time to it. We, we catching up. Yeah. Uh, another five from Kirby. It says, would Zoro have packed up Sanji if he was on Whole Cake? Hashtag Larry is bald. Hashtag law, law dodging child support. Hashtag <laughs> law the father. <laughs> we've, we've chatted about this a few times, yeah. I feel like. Um, with, the, with the Luffy thing? Yeah. yeah. What Zoro would have done. I think Sanji probably would have acted differently, honestly. But he he would have known better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the thing the same thing would have went down. I think yeah. Luffy, right. um, no, I think Luffy would Sanji would have hit Luffy, but I think Zoro would have ended up actually you know pretty much not take out Sanji, but the, over there it's actually serious fight. The question becomes: Would Luffy tell that's, Zoro to stand down, yeah. and would Zoro listen? Mm -hmm. That's the that's the, that's the yeah, question because we know Zoro's gonna want to whoop Sanji. That's, yeah, right. It's just a matter of is he gonna just. With Luffy just being the captain, will he just absolutely listen to that order? Yeah. Which is an interesting thought process. But something similar is going to happen probably with Usopp. Like, for Sanji to come back, he is, um, Zoro's probably yeah. make Sanji, you know, you have to apologize. To me, if it doesn't satisfy Zoro's, like, what he wants, because also, like, Luffy, you're allowing your... Again, Zoro already warned Luffy once. You're allowing your own uh, friend to disrespect you as, you know, as their captain. So Zoro's already said, I'm not going to let that stand. If it doesn't uh, make it right in Zoro's eyes, Zoro will leave. Yeah, I think. But this isn't. Sorry for take, making this longer. But this is is different. I don't think Zoro will leave because of this. I think it's either Sanji's apologizing or Zoro will literally try to take out Sanji and kill him. I mean, take him out. I think that's where it's gonna go. I don't think Zoro's leaving because the situation with Usopp was different. Yeah, because that was a good disagreement. I do it, think we're past leaving the crew. Yeah, right? it's. Well, it would have to really set it off where Luffy and Zoro are fighting kind of thing for him to leave, in my opinion. Because oh. remember, Zoro did tell Luffy, don't even go after Sanji. Yeah. So that's part yeah, of it. That's true. He said, what? just leave him alone. Forget him. So He ain't mean that. <laughs> we got another 10 uh, Australian dollars from Jonah Ruka. It says, yo, from Brisbane, Australia. Hashtag topped on top. Hashtag Larry with the best takes. Hashtag Larry on top. Ooh, hey, look at you. I'm getting top right with, now. With a wink. Mm. Yeah. Hashtag nice, first yeah. super chat. Hashtag first live. Luffy holding down Kazaro and Saturn is cold AF. Can't wait to see what Vegapunk knows. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah. We'll chat about that last panel there in a bit. Yeah. So it's six twenty-five. Let's just get into the chapter. Mm. Yeah. Uh, guys, again, there's a lot of super chats that come through. Uh, we're still running a two-hour show, so bear with us. We'll get to the super chats again, but we're gonna jump into the chapter now. All right. So, you guys ready? Yep. All right, let's get it. Um, this week, we get to enjoy ourselves with one of Oda's best color spreads ever. <laughs> <laughs> we see Robin, Uta, Nami, Tashigi, Reiju, and of course, the heavy Hime herself, Boa Hancock. They're celebrating and drinking on a couch. There's dogs everywhere. Mm. What are your thoughts about this color spread, gentlemen? And we'll start with Law. Why is Tashigi here? 
<laughs> that was one. Damn. Why, why, why was she here? Why you say it like that? Oh, it just didn't. It, to me, that's disrespectful. I can see. She looked cute. Yeah, bro. I know. She but looking right. She bro. looking right. But to she me, got I no draws on. Okay. She got <laughs> no glasses on. I, swear, she, she, I no, see it, bro. It's not about that. To me, I took this as all the people here all the, have a relationship somewhat with the straw hats. Or, she or a relationship with yeah. straw hat? She cool with Zoro, bro. No, who not to can't barely. name another straw hat, bro? <laughs> that's not <laughs> yeah, true. She, she don't know nobody. She don't know none people. of them. That's not true. She don't know none of them. They had a big battle and everything. Mm-hmm. Nah, to me, I thought it would have been better if nothing gets to Shigi, but I feel like relation wise, disrespectful. Um, what do you mean by relations? <laughs> yeah, 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 what? No. I mean, as in um, Hiori, uh, Momo's sister. Oh, sure. God, yeah, come on, we're, bro. we're good. Yeah, you're, what you're, you mean? You're gonna have to substitute for somebody else, bro. Wait, y'all yeah. call in or whatever. Be like, yo, why Laura's there? <laughs> <laughs> Don't disrespect the Shigi like that, bro. Yeah, why bro, did she get so much credit? How's it disrespectful? You see that? You see that white girl right there? Okay, you crazy? She was looking cute. A liar, bro. Hating for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Man, she got You're the, a hater. Bro. She got oh, hating out. What? She got the cleavage yeah. out. Hell yeah. You know bro. what I mean? Legs for days. Glasses looking all. Uh huh. Hair right and did. You're acting like I'm coming at her. You you said she shouldn't be you here, bro. You ain't coming enough. You bro. hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you hit her with the yo. You not a six and above. You need to not be outside right now. Yeah, bro. That's what you that hit her with. Crazy. Now, you're, crazy. Crazy. now you're putting words in my mouth. Because I said none of those things. Listen, bro. You used to say it. You no, know, that's not true. Listen, bro. Sebastian. Just let it be. I'm, I'm All done. Right. Yeah, crazy. Lionel. Is he done? I, I, he better be. <laughs> <laughs> the way he talking. Lionel, are you done? Lawrence, you done? I mean, yeah, I'm making something crazy out of nothing. Listen, but, man. Okay. Free to she legs. <laughs> You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, just yeah. go. This, this, this doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, Lionel. I thought actually, where's Carrot? Hey yo. <laughs> no, let's no, go. Yo, FBI. Yo. <laughs> yo, let's go. FBI. I'm not going with y'all. No, but he's right though. <laughs> no, because the first thing she's old enough, bro. Yo, By chill human out, years, bro. human years, she's old. What are y'all talking about? Bro. Like, I'm just talking about in the cover yeah, panel. I don't That's know what it. y'all doing. Just go. Bro. Yo, y'all wild. Not, you're literally just with them when they're getting in the zombie. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what they're talking about. Like, I don't. Don't try to fight in the here. I don't. You know dude. what they're talking about. I plead the fifth. Like, <laughs> nah, but um, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought there were some girls missing on me personally. I, uh, mm. I thought that. And then also, why is. Um, wow, well, I forgot her name. Raju, there we go. Now we're in red because there's like a red theme going on. Hey, man, because she a baddie, bro. Mm. But everybody's like wearing red and maroon at least. Mm-hmm. Like a Robin, you know. Yeah. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, but again, I just thought um, some. Did some you little... drink water when you were looking at this? Mm. <laughs> I was thirsty. No. I'm sorry. I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done. All right, Sam. I was drinking water from a bowl, bro. <laughs> the dog came out. I started barking for real, bro. Bark Look at one that. time for the cl- nah. For the cl- <laughs> <laughs> but the, the dogs being here is apt. Yeah, Oda knew what he was doing. Uh huh. I was thinking the girls who should have been here as well. I ain't gonna lie, but listen, uh-huh. they was all looking good. We might have to bring white food a week back. Yeah, we might. We might have to. We, we might, bro. We got a lot of selections here, man. Look at, look at, look at mm-hmm. who we, who we choosing. Lawrence ain't choosing Tashiki, we know that. We know that from the jump. <laughs> Raju got tonight. her hung out, you know what I mean? They got the legs crossed. I thought Uta was gone. I didn't know she was still with us. I don't even know why she there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, that's your that's why, she, that's your why she there. <laughs> Y'all, we keep it a bunch, listen, bro. Why she there, bro? Listen, Robin, Robin <laughs> caked up. Raju got it poking with the tongue out, man. Uh-huh. Bo looking right, as always. Megan Thee Stallion playing in the back, for Dog, sure, bro. All these dogs got their tongues out for a reason. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But that's it for me. <laughs> Thirsty. Mm. Um. All right. So I think Oda's <laughs> celebrating a fake holiday created by Emmy Poehler from Rex and Recreation. Galentine's Day. Galentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, so for those Shout that don't know, right, Galentine's Day is a day typically marked as February thirteenth. Uh, but it could be any day during February. Galentines are events typically involving all female 
occasion of mutual empowerment a reminder of women to support and uplift one another because it's really hard for them to do that sometimes right so uh that was crazy um (laughs) but also not to be lonely since they have no one to bust it open for on valentine's day (laughs) Uh, reason for this doll is majority of the ladies are wearing red there's roses to the left they're enjoying their all-female company and celebrating with pink drinks. But the real question is, is Oda a drink fan? <laughs> For all the dogs! If so, then he must have heard Drake's newest album. For all the dogs! Yeah. So, I don't know, because they everywhere, right? They in the pictures, they on the, you know, they everywhere right here. All right, so, uh, Reiju out here trying to show Tashigi what those dogs and her style have in common. Mm. Doggy stop. All mm. right. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. All right. Okay. So over the couch, though. Uh, listen, bro. Over the couch. Sometimes she turn a little. Was she a little drunk? You know what I'm mean? saying? All right. Is Oda telling us the female Gorosei of One Piece? Oh nah. Because bro. this is the Gorosei couch, basically, and these are the females. So maybe this is his Mount Rushmore of baddies. Mm. Just saying. I do wish Viola was here instead of Uda. Mm. Uh, maybe even Yamato. Vivi would have been nice too. Yeah. Ulti would have been a good choice. Mm. Maybe sprinkle a little dolled up Kaya or Makino for the one time. But the real question is which one would I take back to mm. my place? Raju. Mm. Sometimes, man, darker the colors, man, sweeter the juice, man. It's like she toxic. I like toxic women, bro. It just works out, bro. I asked, uh, I posted a poll in the chat, white food of the week. Mine is Ma- Nami and Robin. I feel like this is biased for them yeah. out there. Just for the non-straw hat ladies. Yeah. Who y'all I, got? Listen, bro. I'm going to Shigi this week, man. Yeah, to she, yo, to she she was looking right. And I'm not even a Tashigi fan, but yo, she was looking yo, right, yo, man. Yo, Robin got the cakes out, dog. Uh, the the yams. No Nami Robin. No Nami they, Robin the on the yams is yamming, week, bro. bro. Mm. Yeah. They, it's out there, though. Yeah, this is my wall background for a while. It might have to be. It has to be. There's no mm. denying it. This is the longest it, take I've ever seen. For all the dogs. For all the dogs, bro. All right, let's get five super chats in. Mm. After the five, we're going to jump straight into the chapter. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that little segment. <laughs> we got two from Simba J. It says, Simba D. Carrot. Say, for he's stamping it, man. That's his name. Another two from Council of Uganda. Larry's Law and Beppo Take brought me out. <laughs> Boss? <laughs> oh, man. Another five from Firearms. Sup, guys? Hope y'all having a good day. Do y'all think Saturn is getting fired since the Black Reap Pirates can now impersonate him or maybe replaced by Cat? Well, one, Firearms, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, happy yeah. belated. Um, two, fired. I don't know if you're getting fired. You're about to get packed up, though. Yeah. Like, it's hard to get fired if you get packed mm-hmm. already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, the 10 from Dude. King Alucard. Uh, it says, love your content, guys. Been watching for a while, and you guys have the most fun takes of One Piece. What are your dream matchups? Also, Sanji needs more wins for sure. Hashtag let him cook. Hashtag Sanji D. Goat. Uh, dream matchups? We've gone over this a couple times. Yeah, Akano versus Aokiji. Just want to see that. Luffy versus Blackbeard. I just want to see it already. Mm. Luffy versus Roger. He said dream. That's happening. Luffy versus Roger. No. Roger versus Ryuma. Okay. Mm. Um, if I Odin actually... versus Odin. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I would love to see um, Louis versus Ace. Like if they were, mm. if, if Ace which is full potential and Luffy full potential, I think that'd be a really excellent mm. fight. Ace piece is coming, y'all. It ain't. We got another <laughs> twelve month membership to Nakama status from our guy Nerd Taku. If y'all haven't already, please subscribe to Nerd Taku's channel on YouTube and TikTok. He puts out dope content and he joins our reaction streams every now and then. He does. Love that guy. It says y'all need to troll Seb more since he <laughs> trolls y'all. Uh, <laughs> talk, I showed you mad love, bro. You're not wrong though. Oh He's my not gosh. Wrong. Whatever. He's not Whatever. Wrong. Whatever. All right, uh, these next three and then okay. chapter. Yeah, another two from Elijah Baker. It says, who put the better pin cushion, Ace or Vegapunk? Because <laughs> dang. 
<laughs> we'll get into that. Aces is top ten all time. Yeah. Uh, another two from Jaden Ramos. Much love from Hawaii. Hey. Hashtag like the stream. Hashtag Connor Curry gang. Uh, Hawaii. That's yeah, dope. I want to go. I've always wanted to go. I've always wanted to go. Same. Same. Aloha. Another <laughs> two from Project Iceman. It says, Raid you doing things that Sanji wishes he could do. What? What? I guess what is the Shigi, I guess. I hope so, because I don't know Cause what you're Because she was throwing it back, bro. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, anyway. You lost me, Ice. You lost me. Let's get into the chapter, guys. <laughs> we'll read your super chats. Believe me, we will. But remember, we have a show to do. Uh, also, if you haven't liked the stream yet, please like the stream. All right, let's get into it. The chapter opens up with the title. It says, Come in, world. The Marines are still tussling with the pacifista Mark Threes. We continue, uh, we continue Karibu. Van Auger and Katarina Devon's convo from last chapter. Devon asks who Katibu is. Van Auger says his name is Katibu and gets ready to shoot. Katibu begs for him not to harm him. Van Auger replies back that this is a government island and there's many who threaten Blackbeard's life. Katibu begs even harder and tells Auger that if he murks him, Blackbeard will get rid of them. Auger questions why he would say that. Katibu replies, because he has very valuable information that no one else has. Katibu currently knows where the ancient weapons Poseidon and Uranus is located. Him and the Straw Hats are the only people who know of both weapons and their locations. Katibu suggests that if they let him meet Blackbeard and provide him the information, it'll be worth their time. What did you guys think of this section? And we'll start with Seb. I loved it. Um, I thought we might skip past this. Because I think most people just chalked it up to, oh, he's gonna join Blackbeard, mm. like he's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. But like, at, I know I complained a couple chapters ago, or a couple, like maybe even last episode about like the recap stuff. But there was a people that I talked to that absolutely did not remember that Karibu knew this yeah. stuff, like Poseidon and the really? Pluton. So I know it triggered for us immediately when we said yeah. it, but it was yeah. like, yo, like, oh my god, that's crazy, and. I really just love the idea of him joining Blackbeard because of not only this information that he has that'll enhance Blackbeard's like threat level to the world and threat level to Luffy, et cetera. And like again, I always said it, like Blackbeard comes up because of Luffy. Why was Karibu on this island in the first place? Luffy. It's it's all every single thing that he does, he comes up, it's yo, know, Luffy made it possible somehow. So mm -hmm. I like that. This continues that thread. And like I don't know if y'all remember, like the theory I talked about the last time we talked about this, like with the jo uh, broker's theory, like the Trojan horse element, right? Like using caribou to escort or like carry or curry all the Blackbeard pirates and their forces to Mary Joa while they're maybe trading in Garp as a trade piece or something or whatever, like whatever it is. Like if he wants to be king, if he wants to take over the world. Like they said the world last chapter. He's the avenue to do so much. So I love that. I love that we got this. I also love that Van Auger like was ready to clip him just on some like, yo, hold up, bro. Like you don't just join the Blackbeard Pirates like that. I like that because it shows like, yo, there's people after Blackbeard's life still too. Like just being a Yonko means like your name is out there. And like for the most part, in Kaido and Big Mom's case, you're probably not messing with them, right? But in Blackbeard's case, like he still gotta show out. Like I'm a new Yonko. He's only been a Yonko for a year. So it's like somebody might try to come up on his name or come up taking him out. So like they're on guard about it, and I like that. So I, I don't know. I just I just like the dynamic there. I really really hope that like he does join. I think it's a foregone conclusion that it happens. Like this is a way for Black Mirror to increase his strength and threat level. But like it's just perfect. It's perfect. So all right, law. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I get what Sebastian said, and honestly. I thought this was interesting, or as in, you know how Blackbeard said earlier when he was talking to Kazaru, right? He mentioned that we're all, it kind of gave that thought that they might be similar to the Rocks Pirates, by like they're all joining the crew and they just have a common goal. But right here shows something different. Like her saying, mentioning, you know, Blackbeard is special, and yes, leading to his lineage, but that's the way she views Blackbeard. And here, I barely know this, this rookie. But just the fact that he wants to meet Blackbird, he's a potential danger threat. If you think of like how Jinbei was, and he wasn't part of his crew to protect Whitebeard from like Ace. Van Gogh Van is trying to do the same thing with, with Karibo. Like, you want to meet my captain? No, I'm going to clip you right here. You know, so that it shows that they care more about their captain than what Blackbeard kind of led Kazaro to believe. Like, no, we're, we're a crew that we're actually willing to like take out anyone, even an actual threat to 
Blackbeard. So when I saw when I saw that, I was like, huh, is she that they're actually more of a close to the crew, maybe closer like the Shaw Hats are, right, in that crew. But so but when I read this, you know what I thought of immediately? Blackbeard's gonna open up Wano. That's immediately what I thought of when I read this. I don't know if other people were thinking it, but but the reason why I say it is because we know where Wano is now, right? And we know like the because uh, I just watched it also in the anime. It showed you know where old Wano was and what's kind of blocking Wano, right? Is these two giant like built mountains, but they were bit man built. They weren't naturally there, right? And then also to get to Pluton, I'm guessing you kind of have to destroy that. I can picture Blackbeard destroying those maybe one or two or both like you know just one but i believe pushing both of them to either open up wild to get to pluton or just doing it in general like kind of forcing his way to do it or like uh i'm not saying he's gonna like obviously team with momo mm-hmm. because they're gonna be against it but i believe blackbeard is gonna open up wano by using his quake to destroy those walls and then we're gonna have access to to old one because we think of like you know wano's called the city of gold it's not the new wano that's called that it was the old wano so Meiji, other treasures or other stuff that was hidden in Wano from ancient years are probably still down there because they didn't have time to take up everything. They just went, they escaped for their life to go up there because it was being flooded. But I believe Blackbird's going to destroy those two walls that are holding the old Wano in, releasing all that water where they can have access to it and also plus access to Pluton. All right. So, uh, Lionel? Um, that's interesting what you just said. Um, I never, th- I never thought of that. Like, you know, because I mostly go on by, like... Yeah, I didn't think of it either. And I, I was mostly know. going by pretty much... I thought it was interesting here with the Karibo and um, Van Ogre. Because um, what I was saying, I think, is did Blackman ever show interest at all in the ancient weapons? Obviously, it's like, if you could use an ancient weapon in your arsenal, get it. Obviously, why not? But I always wondered, did Blackman show any interest in it? Because he says that, you know, that Blackman would have your heads if you guys take me out. And I also, and I question this too, like, how do you know that bug could hurt you? Because you're a Lagia, and there's no fact to our knowledge, again, he most likely he does, does he have hockey? What you mean, bro? You ain't see him take out Crackers Biscuits? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. You know? Yo, man. <laughs> Kareem like, don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, he, he's right behind Blackbeard. <laughs> <laughs> so. Behind? No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Because I was just thinking, like, what use would it be? I mean, I guess for Blackbeard, like, anything gain, like any gain is will be significant, and he could probably use that to get what he wants from the world government, like, you know, what that um to be a, again, again, what did he say again? He wanted to be king of the pirates. Yeah. Well, he wanted to be a king, like yeah. an actual no, sanctioned I, king. Well, yeah, he wanted to be a sanctioned king yeah. Yeah, under the world government. Because I was thinking, what if, he, if that, like, what if he could use, not even use that as a weapon, but what if he trades the one of ancient weapons for that? Mm-hmm. I thought that's because... Just because you got that weapon, we don't know if Blackbeard wants that weapon. But if a weapon could achieve his goal, he might just, I know the where Pluton is. I could give you that if you give me this. You know, mm-hmm. So I've been going towards Blackbeard's mindset. I don't know. I don't know if, um, most likely I believe. I thought it would be funny, though, if they did clip Karibo. To, like, we all thought he's going to join. Bruh, <laughs> he just clips oh Karibo. My gosh. I don't think that is crazy. I never, like, I thought of that. I don't think that's going to happen, but it would be wild if it did, though. Mm-hmm. But I don't have that much here, but I just find that, um, Pretty much the purpose of just going to going to Blackbeard's mindset, like what benefits would he use for the H weapons? Like would he use it as an actual weapon, or would he use it as a bargaining or trading type of thing? Or or again, I I mentioned which match said about Pluton. If it's a ship, I think that might actually be Blackbeard's ship now. Like he's such um, sailing on on Pluton instead. His like you know weird log ships that he has. I said so, that, huh? No, when you, when you mentioned that, I, when you mentioned that, I said that might be Blackbeard's ship. I was saying that. Remember in um pretty much remember in um pre time skip he wanted a yeah. a, ba- um, a battleship from the Marines. Yeah. Now you have the ultimate battleship, Pluton. So right. that's what I thought, but who will see? I don't know. Yeah, um, for me, I'm just I was just thinking how long has Kar- uh, Karibu been in the show. And it's been since Fishman Island. So immediately after we came back from Sabaori Archipelago, he was there. He jumped on the ship, heard, overheard King Neptune and Nico Robin speaking about Shirohoshi being Poseidon. And he tried to capture her mm-hmm. until Luffy like punched him off the island. And then he like flew to like uh, the bottom of Fishman Island, wherever that was. And then now he's had like kind of just such a... He's been like trailing the Straw Hats. He's been tagging along. 
And he's kind of, he's, it's so interesting that he's going to be the first person, I think, in the history of the show who's going to be able to go on the enemy's side, like the, the nemesis of the show and the protagonist of the show mm. and be, you know, on like both ships at once. Sail on both ships. Yeah, the closest point. we got to that was like Odin being with Whitebeard and Or Robin, Roger. I guess, maybe. But yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's like, bro. So that's kind of crazy. Um, Karibu actually did mention like 62 chapters ago that there was a certain someone he wanted mm-hmm. to tell after he overheard the Straw Hats in Wano speaking about Pluton being underneath in Wano. So that certain person ended up being Blackbeard. There were so many theories that it might have been Blackbeard. There was a couple theories that it might have been even Crocodile. And, I was a believer in the Crocodile thing. Yeah, yeah. and the Cross Guild uh, theory. You know, sometimes our theories come out true. So... Keep Oda, theorizing. Yeah, like like Oda is a great, great writer. And I think sometimes people who watch the show and think about things too, they're also great thinkers. So I thought that was amazing that this isn't something that we're all disagreeing on. It's like, nah, like this is kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, think, I think the only thing for me is like, Black Bear just keeps getting handed things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even though I enjoy this one because it was set up so long ago, I do think to myself, like, damn, yo, he really hasn't earned anything. <laughs> like, everything he just keeps getting handed to him. And that, and this is one of those times where it's like, yo, he about to get possibly two ancient weapons <laughs> yeah. without even learning or having somebody on ship looking. It just comes to him. And this is where it comes into that Blackbeard fate thing. Mm-hmm. Where, like, even, even the whole crew is dependent on fate. They always talk about fate. There's really nothing that can subside Blackbeard except plot itself. So, I like my villains to earn their villainy. I like my villains to actually, you know, do something that's worth my time. To Mm -hmm. be like, oh, Ben, I wonder how he stacks up against Luffy. You know? Like, I know people hate power scaling too, but, like, this is one of those points where it's like, okay, so the Black Bear Pirates are supposed to be way stronger than the Straw Hats right now, apparently, right? Like, everybody thinks, like, oh, they're top one. Van Auger could do this. You know, Yada Shiryu is probably the last opponent for Zoro instead of Mihawk. Yada, yada, right? And it's like, okay, so if Karib, uh, Ketabu is supposed to be the antithesis to uh, Bartolomeo, it's like, oh, is Bartolomeo stronger than him or not? Nah? Because by most people's plot standards, if Blackbeard does accept Katibu, that means he beats him, right? <laughs> but from what I've seen, <laughs> from what I've seen, the only piece person that Katibu actually beat is Scotch in the cover story. But he's gotten one shot at by Pika. He got one shot by Jinbei. He got one shot by Luffy. And he kind of got one shot by X Drake in the cover story. So this is what I'll be talking about, that the Black Bear Pirates can not be there just yet. Doesn't really prove anything, except that they'll get there eventually, and that's okay. So uh, that's the only thing I wanted to say truly about the whole situation. But Karibu is one of the 13 people that have Logias in the show. Mm -hmm. So this is a very special thing for Black Bear to also have, because Luffy doesn't have a Logia. Logias don't really exist in the norm of things. So Blackbeard again is getting handed something that's amazing because he could do the Trojan horse thing. Yeah. Yeah, I really hope he does that, bro. Yeah. It would be so dope. Yo, can you just imagine him just raiding Mary Joa like that, bro? Yeah. The other thing is, uh, I talked to Sock on Discord, uh, one of our fans. Um, he brought up that it could be that the Luffy that uh, Shirley, Madam Shirley saw in the fission mm-hmm. was actually Katarina Devon disguised as Luffy. She would have to touch him. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, she, I mean yeah, yeah but, it's possible, though. Yeah, so, like, or just something like that, right? Where, like... But that just means that Black Bear goes, mm-hmm. gets Poseidon. Exactly. And then they think it's Luffy. Exactly. But it could be interesting, man. I like the trade ship piece, too, that you brought up, Lionel. Like, yeah. beyond just Garp, like, ancient weapons, they want that? Shoot. But, yeah. I put a poll up, Karibo versus Bartolomeo. It's <laughs> it's 95 to 5. I yeah. just, Barton don't got no recorded hockey, that's all I'm saying. All those L's... That Larry brought up for Caribou hockey users. Yeah, he could probably trap them in that bubble. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. He has a yeah, he like cut off like bird, oxygen. Bro. Probably. And just <laughs> throw him in the room. Yeah, just throw him in the room. Yeah, legitimately. Yeah. I got a part, so I'm just saying. We don't know, man. We don't know. We don't know. 
Like the stream, yo. We got 820 people in here, but only 356 likes. Like the stream, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that's here. We're going to read five super chats, and then we're going to go back into the chapter, okay? All right. We got uh, two euros from Football CF Candy. It says, is Egghead a top five arc at the of all time if we get Void Sentry info? I it think it's a top be. five arc right now. Uh, it's got to stick the landing. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. if it fumbles the landing, like, I'm going to have as many big problems that, that I have with other arcs that I like. Especially in the Wano. beginning. Yeah. Okay. Another five from Marcelo Gutierrez. It says, what's y'all anime drip looking like? For me, it's the hoodie type look. It's like Itadori from uh, JJK. Love y'all. Here at work. Keep it up. Um, Do you chiaz? I got Larry in a yeah. Chiha bomber they got, jacket. They it's fire, thing, bro. Like, yeah, it's always fire. Yeah. Um, I like the Chiha look. I don't. I don't really have one, bro. Yeah. I don't. I'll be I, honest. I always kind of liked um a little bit. Like it, it's between the Elder Kai to Dragon Ball Z, their their fit, mm. or when Goku went came back from fighting Frieza. What do you oh, that about? fit that yo, yeah. that was so it was, tough. Uh, yard drag. Yeah, oh. yard drag. Yeah. Trunks is fit. Future Trunks specifically. Every other Trunks fit is. He got nothing. that whole fit from Forever Twenty One. Yo, it's, it's <laughs> fire. It's fire. Straight up, bro. And um. All the like delinquent fits from Crows oh, and Words, yeah. bro. Nah, yeah, true. bro. The only listen. delinquent fits that rock nah. out here, bro, is you Hawkins show. Yo, it's, it's that, but all black. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> uh, we Lawrence. got another. Oh, okay. Um, you knew I was have a show. No, I didn't. Why you did that, bro? Why did you do it? I was really about to say one. <laughs> Shishomaru. Shishomaru shit was tough. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I was gonna say I also liked. Um, I think you guys may have mentioned him. Uh, Goku, right after you learn trans intra trans yeah. Yard Drive, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. just... Yeah, just 20 now. Just right, 20 just, <laughs> just 20 <laughs> Another 12 months from our guy, Firearms. Happy birthday again, man. It says, T.O.P.T. made it into the FBI list tonight. Hashtag. <laughs> Ford... What? I don't know what that says. Fortell... Fortellums? I don't know. Sorry, bro. Sound it out. I'm, I can't. I'm sorry, Firearm. I'm sorry. Yeah. Another two from Anthony Herrera says, Lawrence, stay hating. LOL. Hashtag <laughs> law don't got that dog in him. Ooh. Where's this coming from? You, you, it must have been about the cover. It's the color spread. Does hate, bro? We're yeah, a little far just, back. Yeah. <laughs> Another five from Y2K says, the Straw Hats have to start clipping their enemies. Their mercy has handed Blackbeard everything they want mm. to protect. Mm. Hashtag more ruthless Straw Hats. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It wouldn't be the Straw Hats, though, but I agree. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's living about that life, pirate life. Yeah. <laughs> now, the five from Connor, it says, hashtag Robin got more cushion than the couch. Hashtag <laughs> Oda still down bad with the thickness. Absolutely. <laughs> now, the five from the uh, yeah. off-brand, it says, the Grand Fleet surely have seen the big incident. What are the chances they choose to pull up at Elbaf? And we start scheming a move as a Yonko crew. Uh, I think I I think the Grand Fleet will be there at Wano. Uh, Elbaf. Yeah, I do. Maybe. Yeah. Another two from Alan Wells says Zoro versus Lucci is the weirdest fight in the series. It's just taking too long. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get back into the chapter. All right. Yeah, and we'll get back to the super chats, guys. We just have to finish up. But thank you so much for everything mm -hmm. uh, you're doing. All right. Next, we see the Mark Threes sinking Marine ships. Marines are pulling back since they can't compete. Mark threes are finally using their bubble shields. They're dominating. Next, we see some more Vice Admiral names. We already know of Bluegrass, but now we have Vice Admirals Hound, Guillotine, and Tosa. Bluegrass is upset that they can't harm the Mark threes. Hound wants to call the Buster Call off. Guillotine puts together that Vegapunk gave the pirates control over the Mark threes. Doberman then states that all Vice Admirals leave their post to hunt down Jewelry Bonnie to get control over the Mark threes. Tosa says he's already found her and readies up a 10-finger pistol. Bonnie and Frankie are stunned to see the attack, and out of nowhere, an axe crushes Tosa completely. Bonnie shrieks in fear, and Frankie and Atlas are shocked as well. Bragi lifts up his axe, and Dory's next to him. The giants tell them they've brushed up on the new Straw Hat members through their bounties, but they don't look anything like them. Frankie says he's actually one of them, and if they have beef, Bragi says there's no beef. Only gratitude. They're both here to help. Bonnie begs Dory and Bragi to help Sanji and Vegapunk. They happily oblige. 
And Dory then asks Bragi if Vegapunk is the man that Scholar mentioned. Then Dory tells their crew to take Frankie, Atlas, and Bonnie to the ship. Frankie questions if those are the masters Usopp always talks about. Then we see the final Vice Admirals to be named, and it's Urban and Pomsky. We then see Bluegrass riding a sea beast with Dahl on the back. Bluegrass asks Dahl if she's ever fought a giant, and Dahl replies her superior officer 20 years ago was a giant. Bluegrass replies back, Saul? He was a strong one. What did you guys think about this part of the chapter? We'll start with Lionel. Uh, Lionel. <clears throat> um, actually, I don't know about you guys, but I actually get excited when I see um, the Vice Admirals. I just know more about why, them. bro. <laughs> I, don't say it. I, don't know. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, because I we get you know we get excited a little bit seeing the Marines and uh, and um, uh, and the right. government, but I like seeing more of like the vice the more of the ranks of the Marines, like I and mean, also like seeing a little of their stories because sometimes you might think are these new guys just coming in or they've been with the Marines for years, and um, Doyle just confirmed no, she's been with the Marines for twenty years. Mm-hmm. Like you know, and mm-hmm. the fact that she knows Saul, you know, somebody. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool, uh, and just seeing the names and everything. Then I want to see more action, more of their capabilities. I don't know. To make it, I just like them. I I just like know them as Marines and they're like you know, because again, they're another fighting force enemy of the pirates and straw hats, and I like to see more of the enemies coming up and more developing. You know, just overall. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw Tulsa running, I thought that was Garp. And for a like, second, huh. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, I double take that. Nah, that doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, Tosa's very uh, top heavy. Yeah, yeah, like a monkey, pretty much. Like I got that. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay, bro. No, it's the, go uh, ahead, bro. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I thought that. Um, what else? Um, honestly, I think he, this dude is. I want to know if he's gone though after that because he's stuck in the ground. He's not. I don't know if he's getting. He, they could get him out, or if he's actually officially taken from that hit. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Um, I I don't have that much about it. Um, this uh, honestly, again, I just get excited to see this. Um, and yeah, all right. Uh, we'll go with Seb. All right, I'm gonna just say this off top. Doll was utilizing the ride, ride fruit in this chapter. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I I was very <laughs> pleased you, with that development. <laughs> Whether y'all whether y'all piece that together or not, but she, she wasn't even looking back. She, at was, it she wasn't looking back at it at all. But she don't need to. You know what I'm saying? She don't need to. Um, I also like seeing the Vice Admirals. I do. Because in my mind, I immediately went, yo, Frankie should be fighting one of these dudes. Straight up. Yeah. That's where my mind went. Like, that's where I, I I have Frankie at that level, where he could fight and beat Vice Admirals. Yeah. So yep. I was excited to see it. When Tosa pulled up, I was like, bet. It's just Frankie's opponent, and then he got squashed. And I was like, ah, <laughs> ah. Dang, I did see the little Garp thing that you're saying. This yeah. was a little bit. It was like, when he was running. That's I didn't like think that. it was Garp or that. I was like, oh, this dude kind of looks like Garp a little bit. But it was it was a run that threw yeah. me. Then. Yeah, everything else, no. Um, I I liked. So Lionel talked about like the the vice admirals in general. I liked the the wherewithal. They went oh, okay. We're fighting and dealing with the PXs. It's a problem. We can't deal with it. Like we we don't want to lose the asset. How do we reverse that? Take out Bonnie. Yeah. That's what we need to do. If if we want to stop this as a thing, if we take Bonnie out, we can get the pacifistas back on our side. I like that strategic thinking. It's messed up. Bonnie's a little girl, whatever, but they, they fight for their life. What matter? They fight for their <laughs> lives, bro. They have they have seen uh, fighting for their lives. It's life. a little worse if it's a twelve year old girl. Listen, they fight for their lives. I think bro. It, it might matter. How many PXs got to run down on you before you you willing to take that the little Marines girl? Marines and the government are two different things. Marines have more of a soft. She a pirate, thing. right? She is, but if they feel like she's a little girl, it might change things. You know how many little girls? Could get clipped by by these pacifistas. I think Robin would attest otherwise. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> no, what that's are you talking about? about? That's the word government, not the Marines. They yeah. work for Marines them. were there. <laughs> they, they they the ones carrying out the the mission, bro. Yeah, yeah there was a couple uh, vice admirals with the Buster call. Yeah, bro, they was there. A kind of was there. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah, he he made it. It was his choice. Kind of different. He bro. gave the order. What, what's his justice? He said bomb the no, ship. What's how, his many, how many little girls you think was on that what ship? How many? But then we have people with Al Kichi. What about him? Stop He's a Marine. He he was, he was about that. Listen, I'm just saying. Tweaking, bro. A kind of was different. Either way. Uh, <laughs> either way, I, I, it was cool to see Dory and Brocky do that. 
Um, it kind of gives you like the the power scaling thing again because it's like yeah, they were struggling with Mr. Three, but now they one shot nah. Vice Admiral's no problem. No, nah, Tom Lawrence. If you look at it, I'm trying to remember, but um, when they were fighting for um, like you know, for thousand whatever, hundred years, whatever, pretty much uh, Mr. Three poisons the guy with oh, yeah. his, like, his sword. I mean, oh, poisons the guy with the swords. Um, he gives him like ale or a beer, and he pours him. He's like pretty much. He's bleeding from the inside. So every mm-hmm. time he moved, he yeah. started coughing up blood. And explo- Just moving. And then exploding from the inside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, and that's how he, they took advantage of that. Then that's how he lost because he was dying from the inside. Yeah, uh, but it was, they ain't, like, Broggy succumbed. That's uh, the point. Yeah. Broggy was full health, bro. Yeah. Either way, it's wild to see them just rock a vice animal, no problem like that. I mean, it's not too wild, but, like, it's kind of wild. Um,. I, I like seeing Bonnie's reaction to them. Because, like, you remember, yeah, she's, she's a little girl. Like, she's probably never really seen Giants before. Yeah, that's true. And these are, like, the biggest people she's ever seen in her life. She was like, ah, what the hell? Like, yeah, she was out. screaming. <laughs> she yeah. was freaking out. Um, I like Frankie's little, like, yo, you got beef with my captain? I thought that was funny. And then they mentioned Saul, I think, twice in this chapter. Mm. Once with uh, Dahl. Who apparently is a cougar because she grown. She been mm-hmm. here for for some years. Yeah, yeah I was wondering how she was. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> and and once when they said the man that scholar mentioned, mm. I assume that's Saul. Yeah. We could be wrong, but I assume it is. Um, I didn't have much else beyond that, but they also a little too gullible to be like, oh y'all y'all know Luffy and Sanji. Oh we know those names. Yeah y'all y'all, y'all ally. like yo bro get some confirmation. Mm. <laughs> but that's that's it for me. All right, law. Yeah, um, what we saw with um, Tulsa getting put in the ground by the giant is what we expect from Vice Admiral. <laughs> okay, like, that's what we expect. Absolutely, yeah. I don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see that. That's what we expect. But no, I 100 agree with Sebastian. Where um, like Frankie should be fighting at least one of these Vice Admirals. You yeah, know, man. when I saw him running, like, oh yeah, Frankie's here. We could finally see that. But then when I saw him get put, one. I talk it up like, all right, he should be cut in half because <laughs> he got hit with the axe <laughs> part. Axe part? The axe yeah. part, you're not the bow part. The axe part, he should be cut in half. But like, I thought of two things: he could have, like, sent tomorrow last second, clouded with hockey to try to block it, or you guys are not gonna like this. One piece taking abilities, you know. That's, that's what I chose to do because nah, he hit but, him on the side. I thought it was what? the side too. If you nah. look at it, it's the side. See, I thought it was the side too. I thought it was pull. Like he hit Both him on the side. Yeah. Look, it's the side. The flat. Yeah. This is the. Piece. Oh, yeah. okay, I get yeah. you. Oh, he should have been gunning for life. But anyway, anyway, yeah. So, um, I thought it was interesting. I don't know if you guys. I want. I forgot to research this, but I wanted to look up. Have you guys noticed how much Doberman is always involved with the world government, especially the Sister Dragons? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he's always there. It's like he's like their number one vice admiral to go to. Besides from like you know the admirals usually have the dealings with the. Um, uh, what the world government or special dragons, but Dorman's always there. Like we saw it way back, and then even now, I wonder why. You know, so that's what I was talking about. I was gonna bring up Lionel. You talking about like the vice admiral? Look at Doberman. He's the one that I mean, he probably knows how old Bonnie is, right? So <laughs> <laughs> he, don't care. he don't care at all. He don't care at all. Because I'm pretty sure he was in the flashback, wasn't he? Uh yeah, yeah I think so. he was in the flashback, so he knows the deal. He's like, get that little girl out of here, you know, like you know. So it's like, but I thought it was interesting, like his in, his rank that he's always involved with the um, world government, showing that again, there's going to be some marines. Yes, remember, there's few that are like Kazaro at that time and Kobe and uh, Garp. There's few, huh? Smoker. And smoke, yeah, smoker and Fujitora. There's few, Tashiki. but mostly and yeah, he would forget marines, about Tashigi, man. <laughs> I forgot about Smoker too. Nah, oh, man. <laughs> because she related, because he related to Shigi a little bit. Anyway, I want you to call. I almost forgot about Fujitora too. Anyway, but yeah, but like most of the Marines, they are, they recognize that the world government is the authority. That's the power. That's who their allegiance goes to overall. So whatever they're killing about murking little kids, even civilians to get whatever they say, they're gonna follow, and that's why. Um, the revolution there is against because they got to put a stop to the world, the world government so the fr- Marines could have more, I guess, free control or whatever. But anyway, um, yeah, but that's all I really had about it. All right, yeah, when I saw Vice Admirals get named, I was hyped. Uh, I like knowing their names, that's cool. We didn't get that, don't know why when we first saw them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then 
when I saw that Tosa just found Jewelry Bonnie and Frankie immediately, I was like, yo, what the? <laughs> <laughs> it was that been. easy? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? His observation, yo. Maybe yo, it was, he had to be on the island and in the area, bro. There's no Already, way. Already, yeah. Yeah, there's no way, bro. Because wasn't the, the otter guy a Vice Admiral, too? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I forgot his name, though. Yeah, he's not here. They don't need Did he, he get knocked out? He was there, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. He was just there. So I, if Tosa found them, that's cool. I guess that I could chalk it up to that. The interesting thing about this, right, is that if you notice, most of the vice admirals are named after, like, dogs, which is kind of cool. So we got the Hound, the Doberman. We got Tosa is apparently a dog as well. Doll's actual name is not Doll. It might be D-O-H-L, which is, like, another type of dog mm. or something like that that's used to... Uh, I think it's... Guillotine's a dog? Uh, might be, yeah. That's, it sounded familiar when I heard guillotine. Hmm. So, um, it might go back to why the color spread has dogs in it. Mm. Mm. I think it's just a... They're all dogs of the world government. It could be that, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that was Smoker's whole thing, right? Like, he's... A, he's the, the, the hunter. Dog. The, yeah. yeah. So, it's like... It's weird how Garp also wore that, you know, the, the dog... Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. He's like the most prominent vice admiral. I think you're yeah. awesome. Yeah. For real, for real. So that was pretty cool. Um, the 10 finger pistol, I was like, one pause. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of crazy because Frankie looking back, like, <laughs> yeah. chill. Wow. Um, so I, I, I think that there's a little, uh, I wouldn't say, it's hard to say inconsistency with Bragi and Dory. They showed extreme feats. Especially fighting for a hundred day, a uh, hundred years, the adversity they must have felt. Uh, I assume that they do have hockey. They would have to, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's up in the air. Like if what they did and Mister Three, you know, it's like the Shanks thing. Like Shanks got his arm taken, but we knew Shanks was strong enough to take it. They could have been exhausted. Yeah, from those so they could have been exhausted. They could have, you know, their weapons were dull. They were fighting two times a day on average. Like. I don't know what to say about that moment. Right. It's just one of those things about One Piece where it's like, it's not necessarily matching up with what the story is telling us now. It, but mm -hmm. they are like able to one shot a Vice Admiral, which that doesn't say much because Vice Admirals don't go hard at all. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, don't. still, that's he. That, that was like, yo, I used one hand and that was easy work. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wonder where Bragi and Dory are on the list of like maybe top 30. Could be. It could be that they're on top 30. They could probably... I don't want to say it because it sounds crazy because there's no feats behind it. There's no actual telling. Are, are you saying individually or like together? Individually. Okay. They could probably be like a top 20 strength character right now in the verse. I don't know, though. I'm just saying it's a thought probability. Um, But yeah, I, I feel the same way as you guys. I wish Frankie had his moment to shine again. Yeah. You know, I feel like some of the Straw Hats have taken a back seat. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Every um, arc, man, it's just annoying sometimes. Yeah, um, but it's it's really cool to see Saul brought up again. Yeah, I know we're gonna have some big big stuff to talk about when we get to Albaf because he's oh, gonna be there. That's what I forgot to mention. What? No, you go again. No, I'm done. No, because I forgot to mention the scholar. Yeah, it's, I did. It's Saul. Huh? It has to be Saul, though. But Skull, well, Saul's not a scholar, though. He was surrounded Wasn't by books. Wasn't he with the O'Hara peoples, and then he grabbed the... Yeah, yeah. he brought all the I books think he's, Yeah, he used to be a Marine. I think he became a scholar. Should they refer to him as a scholar. It, it could be someone else. I think I it's someone it, else. I put a poll in the chat, like, is Saul the scholar? And no, I think, like, 30% said no. When we seen the, the, the person in bandages, he was surrounded by books, bro. Yeah. That's because and he had the Saul's hat on. I get you, but he, they're the ones who help bring the books to Alphabet. Like, so told them Yeah, but about. Like, what, is he, what has he been doing all this time, right? Yeah. Like, he'd probably read them books. Like, all this happened. My life has changed forever because of this. Yeah. He's or, probably reading the books. Remember, it's been 20 years. Not like, it's been two years. It's been yeah, 20, 20 years. years. And his connection to Robin. And Dorian Bragi didn't, like, know him like that yet. They met him as what he is yeah. now, right. most likely, because they've been on Little Garden. So it's like, oh, it's the scholar dude. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah. But. Yeah. But before we head to the final end of the chapter, Marv, let's take a sponsorship break, and then we're going to get Super Chats done. We're going to do a couple, and then we're going to get back into the chapter immediately, okay? So see you guys in a few. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe having difficulty sleeping? Struggling with a relationship? Are suffering from low self-esteem listen i've been there 
we have been there. If so, then today's BetterHelp wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained and here to help you out. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your own convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire and it's as simple as that, guys, to help with your specific needs and then get you matched with a therapist under 48 hours. After that, you schedule a secure video or phone session. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is confidential. We signed up for different reasons. And to be honest, it's legit. It helped us out a ton. You can request a different therapist at any point with no additional charge anytime. Join the two plus million people who took charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. This offer goes out to all our That One Piece Talk Nakama. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash T-O-P-T. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-P-T. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Welcome back. Welcome this back, episode. everybody. Welcome back. Marv, you want to replay it? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Marv said we're running it back. Yeah, Marv said I need I need energy. better help. <laughs> <laughs> What's that code? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get into some super chats. We'll do like probably like seven, maybe five, mm -hmm. and then we're going to jump right into the chapter. Yep. Shout out to Andrew Miller for becoming a Yonko. Enjoy the emojis that come with being a Yonko. That is our highest tier of membership. Another five from Kirby. It says, keep it a stack. Who's a better swordsman, Killer B or Mihawk? Hashtag not Fraudhawk. Hashtag agenda piece is greater than fiction. Um, I'd I got, say Mihawk. I'm going to go Mihawk. Yeah. Although, Mihawk. Mihawk. Killer B was stunning with them eight swords, bro. He was stunning. Another five from Anime's Judgment Day. No, not my idea, but someone said, "What if Luffy squeezed Kizaru and used him like a lightsaber on Saturday?" <laughs> <laughs> I haven't stopped laughing. Oh, I'd pay to man. see that. I would pay to see it too. And funny. you can pay by supporting the official release. Uh, we got another five <laughs> from Black American Maid. Whitebeard never pulled up on Kaido after he heard what he did to Odin, even though he called him his brother. Hashtag Holebeard. Oh my God. Dang. I have so much to say. Don't have the time. <laughs> Just don't have the time. Another two from Project Iceman. It says Blackbeard attacking Wano plus Shirohoshi, Luffy, and Blackbeard beef. Uh, sure. I will say this. Blackbeard probably not going at Wano. He not gangster like that. <laughs> <laughs> he, if, if you can choose Wano or Fishman Island, Blackbeard going to Fishman Island. And I love Blackbeard. But let's, Both. Let's keep it. Let's, let's keep it. I mean, moving. he might because he's Kaido ain't there no more. Let's keep it. Maybe. But that would be why. Another ten from Kirby. It says... Uh, let me know if I'm cooking. Luffy wants to be the king of the parents. Has insane hockey. Naruto wanted to be Hokage, king of the ninja. What's Naruto's hockey looking like? Same level or does Luffy solo? Oh, my God. Kirby, why? King of the parents? I well, dad hockey is real. But I don't understand what there's Luffy no did. way that Naruto's hockey is on Luffy's level. Yeah, no, Not no, even no, a little nah, bit. Bro. I, think it, I, I disrespect Naruto as much as the next guy. It's higher than the twins will give him credit for. It's not Luffy's level. Yeah. Definitely. Is it kids' level? <laughs> <laughs> They've been begging for you. Begging for you to comment on kids in the chat, by the way. I haven't mentioned it. <laughs> now the 280 from Garbage Fit. Oh, my God. OP will end before Ace Peace. Hashtag false hope. Hashtag low wallet. <laughs> Shut up, fish man. Uh, another two from Larry Lover. It says, I love Larry. Oh, thank you, bro. <laughs> another five from Kirby, Sanji, and Zoro on Asthma Watch. Hashtag cough, cough, wheeze, wheeze. Hashtag grab my inhaler, Nami San. Hashtag come on, my Nika save me. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Another. Ten euros from Rib TV. Did you guys think that Van Auger reaction to Karibo and if we go back to Impel Down Arc, Whitebeard had a lot of ops locked up that we might see bounty hunters go after Luffy's head. I th don't have enough time for it. Yeah, just don't think we have the time for that in, in, no. in the series. Yeah, Oda's not going to stray off right now. Yeah. Yeah. Another five from Martin Calderon. What do you guys think of Big Sake giving a hint of what happened before the Void Century? This is a theory from Artur on YouTube. Hashtag no, I'm taking Raju home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to Artur. We met him uh, one time. He, was, he seemed cool. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, probably. 
As far as sing song? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I think so. I feel yeah. the lyrics. Yeah. Let's I get into remember. the. Let's get back into the chapter, guys. All and right. then we'll read the super chats again. Uh, just give us some time, okay? We just really want to get through the chapter. But thank you guys for all the support, seriously, and for liking the video. Like stream. Yeah, if you're on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and you haven't liked our uh, podcast yet and gave it five stars, please do. All right. Anyway, finally. We make it back to Vegapunk. He doesn't want Sanji to move him. He'll bleed out faster. Luffy then reminds Vegapunk that he promised to get him off the island. Vegapunk replies, but there's something he must protect here. He was hoping not to tell Bonnie about her authority over the pacifistas until she was older, but now the world will hunt her down. Sanji voices that Saturn is becoming less human by the minute. His eyes are bizarre and he seems to be coated with poison. Then Saturn attacks with his legs and Luffy starts to dodge them. Sanji grabs up Vegapunk. Vegapunk screams to Sanji that it's enough to stop. Then Kazaro kicks Sanji back, uh, kicks Sanji in the face while simultaneously uh, Vegapunk with his Ama no Murakumo sword. Vegapunk falls to the floor. Kazaro turns around and looks back. His shades dark and sweat coming from his brow. Luffy calls out to Vegapunk. Sanji picks him back up. Kizaru goes to give chase again, and Luffy turns into a giant. He grabs Saturn's face and clamps his huge fist with Kizaru in it. Luffy then says, you guys aren't going anywhere. Kizaru spits up blood. Sanji notices that Vegapunk isn't breathing, but he's smiling. Then we see some beeps. We move back to one of the labs, and Vegapunk appears on screen. His heart rate monitor shows, and it seems to be flatlining. Vegapunk then announces himself to the world. He tells them, while many of you will likely be shocked by what I have to say in this message, I assure you that it is the truth of the world. What did you guys think about this part? And we'll start with it, Seb. All right, so a couple things. One, I love this part of the chapter. I did. Luffy holding up Kizaru and, and stopping up Saturn, like... It was so badass, bro. It just was, man. Like, Kazaru's was fast as light, and I got him by my, like, I just got him in my hand. Like, mm -hmm. it's nothing. And I know he had him before, and he threw him once, but, like, there wasn't a whole other big bad there. And he caught him by, like, off guard. This is like, yo, this is what I'm here to do. And, like, Lawrence mentioned it in the review uh, last week about, like, whether or not Luffy's being serious enough at times. And I know this isn't exactly that just yet. Like, I still need to see the Luffy I saw in them catacombs versus Crocodile. I still need to see the Luffy I saw versus Luchi. You know what I'm saying? But we're starting, at least I felt a, 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 a tonal shift, at least a little bit for Luffy. If we can st keep going down this path, I'd love to see it. Um, a little, I went a little ahead with that, so I'll go back a little bit. I loved the Sanji commenting on Saturn's appearance and how he's like fading deeper and deeper, losing his humanity. Cause like that was his whole arc. Right? Like, that's his whole character arc. And somebody posted it on Twitter. I don't remember who it was exactly. But it was like, you can tell, like, even the shading in Sanji's, like, panel there. It's like, damn, he's doing what I wasn't willing to do. Like, he's diving deeper into his, like, non-human for power. Which was his whole thing with the raid suit last arc. I like that. Um, Vegapunk said, like, he, he should be gone. Like, I know we talk about One Piece tanking ability already and his, his like, life flatlines, but, like, how are he surviving all this stuff, bro? Like, he's not a fighter, right? Like, he's not some, like, scrapper. You know, you're getting stabbed through the heart by light beams and, and stuff multiple times. Like, I don't know, man. That's kind of crazy. Um, Sanji fumbled. I think it's important that we note it. I, I tried to tell y'all last week, like, I know I said Sanji season, I love it, but I also prefaced it like, yo, Oda is very prone to Ho and Sanji. I, I I don't think it was a huge deal, personally. Like to me, he got kicked by Kazaru. I, I still rank Kazaru really high. He didn't seem to take much damage from it. I thought that was relatively impressive. But he fumbled. His job was to protect Vega Bucket. He didn't. So end of the day, Luffy told him to do something. He couldn't do it. So need you need, need to do better. Gotta do better if you want to be the wings of the Pirate King, bro. Uh, I know you're my favorite character, but I call it like I see it. Um. I love the after image stuff with Luffy. I thought it was really cool and interesting. Saturn's ability just looks wild, man. Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's like squiggly lines and stuff. I thought that whole, like, page was dope. I don't know if it's actually an after image or it's just Luffy in different steps of it, but 
I like to think it was an after image. Um, and I love that sword that Kazaru has. As far as Vegapunk's message to the world, I don't know what it is. And I was racking my brain on what it could be. Is it going to be about Nika? Is it going to be about the Void Century? Like, is it just that Emu exists? Like, I don't know what it is, but like, this is going to be wild. Mm. Right? Like, whatever it is, it's like, it's broadcasting to the world, apparently. Or at least it's a message. Gave me very, like, video game Fallout Bioshock vibes, mm. which I, I love. This whole arc has been very video game centric, I feel like. And I don't think he's gone. But it would make sense that if he passed, like, this would be, like, a fail-safe. Like, if I ever were to pass, have this message broadcast to the world. So, maybe it's hard to stop beating, and it triggered it. I don't know. But I was really curious. I was really curious what Yai had to say about it. So, I'll shut up. <laughs> All right. So. Lionel? Um, I'm not going to lie. I got really nervous when Sanji said he's le- looking less more human. Because I didn't know what I was going to entail because what we know what Saturn and you know, his fruit and ability was. So I got a little nervous. When I just saw this, mm. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. It's just him looking more like a spider to me. His eyes do look crazy. They, they, they're just looking crazy. But I did get nervous and scared. Like, what, what, what is this looking less of a human going to look like now? So I got scared with that. But it wasn't that bad. So I got a little hopeful on that. I actually thought for a second Luffy was made clones of himself again. I keep thinking of Luffy's going to make clones. I don't know why. I think it's going to happen. But I could be wrong. Um, with the whole uh, with the whole Kazawa thing, I'm like having different takes on it because I know we said that sign, um, how how it ended with with um, Luffy and, and Kazaru and um, with Saturn. But like in this way, you get like I have problems with like you know how they have Kazaru because like for instance, if you look at me for the war, Kazaru was able to do the shield, the hockey shield. He did it against Whitebeard with the other three animals, Kaino and Akaji. Aokiji. I don't see that. I'm not seeing that here. I'm not even seeing any type of hockey, really, from Kazaro. Or his awakening with his fruit at all from Kazaro. So just like, that's why Luffy, Luffy looks so much better than Kazaro, but like, I'm not seeing any of the stuff he did at Me Forward War a little bit. And also, like, we know for a fact if Aokiji and Akano could do that to Punk Hazard, we know for a fact most likely Kazaro could do something too. Do something to that extent. But again, we're not seeing that at all in this battle. Like, so that's why, like, I'm not saying um, Kazaru was weak or not. I'm just like, again, we're not seeing hockey. We're not seeing what his, what his full ability is, with his fruit is capable of. So just, like, how Oda is just writing this arc. and just, like, yeah, we, we crush him with the Straw Hats. Like, Straw Hats, they're, they're nerfed now. Kazaru looks like he's nerfed now. They're just literally giving all this shite to Luffy in his, in his Nika form. So just, like, I, I don't know how to take it. I just got to wait and see what Oda's planning or building up through this. But just, like... It's just hard to digest on what we're seeing in AHEC, knowing who Kazaro is, knowing what the Straw Hats went through at Wano, and what we expect of them now, what's going on. It's like, you went forward, now you're going back, and we're just questioning what's going on. Great, it's a great arc, but just the power scaling and what we think was going to happen or expect them to do is not really there. I I feel like it's just mostly focused on Luffy and being Nika, which is cool, but like, again, we want other people to stunt their stuff, not just Luffy. Especially Saturn, who's supposed to be one of the big bads. I don't know. But I did, so I was talking about this chef thing with Luffy. To me, Luffy's face even looked changed to me. Like, yeah. his, like, he, like his lips even looked big, bigger. Like his facial expression looked like he's a totally different character. Yeah, his hat didn't get bigger. I yeah, that was I, I funny. said it's I thought that was funny. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like his, like, I don't know. I did like that. And I wonder, like, we never saw an angry Nika. And that's what I want to ask you more interest in. Like Joy Boy, what? <laughs> but I, I want to see that an angry Nika. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you laughing because I'm saying that? That's stupid. I can't. Yeah. I, did, I said Nika. I didn't say the other one. I know. Yeah, that's stupid. But with the whole, um, with he's about to reveal, I don't know. Like, probably think it's Voice Century, but I was always looking, this is how we getting it? Like, but mostly, I, 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 I can't, I don't know. Like, how or they're bringing it with the, the whole world knowing and through Vegapunk broadcasting the whole world. I want to know, are we going to get a flashback with us, with him telling us this? I hope not. That's the only, that's the thing I want to know. Mm-hmm. Is it just him saying it or we're actually going to get a flashback? But I'm also, we already had a flashback though with Kuma. Are we going to get another flashback? Because all of do flashbacks multiple times in one arc, like with Dolphin Miguel and Law. 
Yeah. So I'm feeling, I don't know. I feel and like jumping away from the action would be, yeah. be a wild decision right now. And okay, but you know, if we do a flashback, how long is this flashback? Because this is if this is the fourth century, this is what we all been waiting for. I'm down to keep waiting. That's what I think. I don't know. I think it might be too soon. I don't know. Like to me, I don't know how to take this. It's too crazy. That's how I was thinking. I don't know. But I'm done. All right, law. Uh, yeah. I uh, was just um, this dude's form. I guess this this is just like a, a more an attack form because his body sunk, but his leg has got extremely longer. For I'm talking about uh, Saturn. So you know how he, he mainly fights with besides the look thing, he fights with using his spider legs. Right, so I'm guessing it gives him longer reach and more range and variety and poison with his attacks. So I was just wondering because you know how Zoans have different forms. So and I'm not, I think the stronger the level you get, you are with your ability. I think you're able to tap into more different forms, as in the lower levels, like especially like you know higher than the myth- mythical, or even if you're more capable with your ability. I think you even tap into more f- diff- uh, more forms with your uh, Zoan ability, like Kaido was able to, because we saw two kind of two extra forms. People thought it was uh, Awakening, but it wasn't. I just When I was watching it, it's just more in his dragon form than in the hybrid, while in, while in hybrid. Because we didn't see the cloak, and also it just... Because if you look, you compare that form with the dragon form, the teeth looked how it was a dragon form. The eyes, dragon form. And even close to the, uh, the color, the scales changed. But everything was more just more like the dragon form, but as in the hybrid still. So I think this is what he kind of did in... Um, is doing now and i know people are coming at sanji but honestly we gotta think about it this is yeah we know we're because uh, i was not having the best showing but this is still an amber level person who's trying to protect someone remember i know this is like you uh you guys may not hold so much weight to it but remember rayleaf when he was trying to protect the straw hats against Kazaro, he was still barely able to do it he was only able to just stop he couldn't do both he had to just stop one so people coming at sanji for this is like Rayleigh, you know, couldn't really do both at the same time either. He said, I had to focus on either protecting the Straw Hats or just stopping Kazaro. He chose to just stop Kazaro here. You know, Sanji was kind of like trying to do both while doing it. So I'm like, I don't hold this against, because I'm still, uh, Sanji's not there yet. I believe he could fight in Amber, but that's also, you're talking about a different level of able to beat him while protecting someone or even stopping them. No, it's, it's going to take Sanji going all out to fight kazaro him trying to take vague fuck with him while protecting you know, that's too much for an, uh someone to do that at this time you know so i don't hold sanji hold down sanji from this uh situation is actually like the fact that he's able to take an attack and still get back to vega punk is still impressive and get away i had marco flashbacks <laughs> <laughs> and to me as soon as i saw vega punk is already in this uh the state he's in get that pierced again yeah bro. It, yeah, i'm like it's, it's not looking good it is the, probably the only person that could probably save him is Vega Boy himself. Yo, he really got DP'd. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't watch, can I say something to you right now? Yeah. Is the beard looking good, bro? Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm a little jealous. Shape it up. I gotta I'm, shape it up. I'm a little jealous, bro. <laughs> man, grew, man grew a whole beard. Whole beard. Whole beard. Overnight. Overnight. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna shape it up, though. I've been letting it. Because you, you're not oiling it, bro. You gotta... You gotta I'm gonna Sorry. groom it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> and, um... I was going to say, yeah, the last thing I'm going to mention here, oh, no, the two things, is that, uh, honestly, Luffy grabbing them two, right? I thought it was dope, but it goes into before what I was saying uh, earlier, or now is, like, the overconfidence with Luffy. But, like, it, well, I think Oda's going to show us why Luffy is so carefree, in a way, by showing truly what, Vig- um, Vig- what Nika is going to be able to do, right? Because why this truth has to be special, it has to be different. Why are you able to, like... Uh, Anyway, what the, everyone in the world is waiting for, you should be able to do kind of like this stuff. So I think he's tapping more and more into what Oda is going to show us why Nika is so special, so different. Why is this this truth so ridiculous? You know, if we have the of the have a uh, uh, white beard truth supposed to be the strongest truth and overpowered and stuff like that, we're going to see more and more what Nika is capable of. A why everyone so why everyone was looking for it, waiting for it, and scared of it, so to speak. And last but not least, I want to talk about uh, Vega Punk's. Um, uh, message here I believe what I when I first saw it I thought it was about the void century but I have mixed feelings about that I don't I'm kind of not really bothered by it but like I always imagined us getting it when the straw hats reach laugh tale you know us getting before it like then what's the point of us not saying the point of us going to laugh tale but the whole point is we get it all revealed when they achieve it you know that's part of the one piece that's what Roger and them did 
We found the whole thing is when they did because of, but now someone just like throws it out there. I feel like it kind of takes away from what the show has to try to do from the beginning. You know, us learning that. So I hope it's something different. If it is that, I could kind of feel like Oda will give us maybe a few parts, but not the whole story because he kind of gives us a little bit. Or Oda could play us where like the whole world knows it, but we don't. But is that is that better? You know. Mm. Well, if we need to get to a point where all the world unites with the Straw Hats, then maybe. But then you just tease it. Yeah. The whole world now knows this thing that we don't know, yeah. and we're the Straw Hats. <laughs> and not, I mean, that is. <laughs> and also, Oda has to choose their dialect carefully because if he yeah. can't reveal to us, to tell us yet, then he has to pick and choose what everybody's going to say because everybody's going to mention what Vancouver talked about broadcasting. Yeah. So like that's going to be hard to do. So like I don't know like. It's so much stuff. <gasps> this is crazy, honestly. <laughs> what? No, just hit me real quick. Do you think Vegapunk knows about Eam? I asked the question in the chat, like, what, what it would be, like, what the truth of the world would be. I asked yeah. like, that Eam will exist about Joy Boy and Nika, yeah. the Void Century. So there was, like, 23% of people that said Eam. if it's not about the Void Century, I'm fine him just writing out Eam. Not just someone oh, sitting on oh, that seat. Oh, <laughs> by the way, by the way, y'all, I, listen, this is snitching. <laughs> I need y'all to understand that, yo. This is stuff went left and Vegapunk turned on the gang, bro. Whether y'all want to acknowledge it well, they or not, was, they turned on this him. is this is snitching. They about to pack him up. Nah, bro. Six nine yeah. was snitching. <laughs> you wasn't standing up for six nine, was you? Who, who you <laughs> saying, who's six this, nine? This is <laughs> snitching, bro. Dude, if they about to pack, he him was up all down to take the money. And build labs and all types of stuff. Stuff go left. Now I'm snitching to the world about what's happening. Nah, man. After he nah, got man. He's, 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 he's snitching. But you forget it. This is a fail safe. Immediately yeah. after he got hit. He said, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, like, it wasn't like he's just doing it now. It's like, I had this on the back plan. So that's what I was talking about. Snitching, bro. Like, don't forget the world government. Nah, yo. Crazy. If they ain't come for him, he wouldn't have did all that. Crazy. Being loyal you, to the world nah, government. I think he never did it. No, being loyal to the world government is more crazy. But okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Snitching, bro. Yeah. Um what can I say, bro? Uh so the Saturn thing. Do you guys remember me mentioning that uh, I was saying that Luffy could probably go gear six? Yes. At mm-hmm. some point. Mm-hmm. All right. So I I think I remember saying that Luffy probably dives deeper into the devil fruit itself. So now it's becoming more or less, has Saturn dived so deep into the Devil Fruit's will that even when the Devil Fruit takes over and he becomes the Devil Fruit itself, does it necessarily take over him? Or have they made like a pact or an agreement the same way Naruto and Kurama did or Hachi did with Killer B? Because if so, then I can see how Saturn loses himself to the Devil Fruit, but then he's most likely able to gain back his consciousness. He doesn't lose it in the void of the Devil Fruit. I think that's very interesting. Mm-hmm. If so, can Luffy do it? That would probably mean that we might get a full, maybe speaking, Nika. Mm. That's very interesting to me. Um, it just means that you could dive deeper into de- Devil Fruits than we thought we was imaginable. Um, these guys have been long living. This might be obtainable only through long living, you know? Like, it probably takes time to reach those levels. Who knows? But it did grant him some more powers. He didn't have a flame on his back behind his black cloak. Now he has that. He's much, much bigger than he was before. And now he has these all new abilities. And it also seems like he's tapped into a power where he's probably using, uh, I don't want to say the opposite of hockey, because that just sounds crazy. (laughs) But he's probably using something that's similar to hockey, since outward emission is just real, right? It's, It's just level two hockey. He's probably using something that takes away. It's like an inward emission kind of. Where he's taking he's taking the will mm-hmm. from trees. Right. Would you cuz we always thought that Blackbeard would be able to do that. What the Yami? Maybe maybe he's capable of it because his devil fruit allows him to do something like that or he's obtained that type of I don't even know what to call it. Like the opposite <laughs> hockey. It's so the opposite of will is like Despair or disbelief, like like yeah. doubt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because hot one is act of not doubting. It's it, yeah. doubt. So like, I, 
that that becomes a very nuanced thing if you can take the the will from something and create doubt. It's like the tree doubted that it could survive. Yeah. Or something like, you know what I mean? That 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 is a whole other thing. But that but would I fit like also bit, yeah. into the nightmare versus mm-hmm. dreams. Mm-hmm. And funny, you see Nightmares. That. Because that goes no into more um, Perona's ability. Mm-hmm. She's negative, which mm-hmm. was in a nightmare-themed um, mm-hmm. so the bark. Mm-hmm. So if he's tapping, thinking in how Oda does like similarity with abilities, if he's doing that similar with Saturn, then that's actually interesting. Then that'll be interesting. Sorry. Yeah, it's also great too because what does Luffy do? He's able to create things out of will. Yeah, he can literally create sunglasses. So why wouldn't Saturn and people be able to take away things? You know. So that was pretty interesting to me. Um, the whole Sanji bit, bro. Listen, that whole Sanji not knowing his body, you know, like, bro, I, <laughs> I hate that, bro. I couldn't stand that this was even teased again. Mm. Uh, don't care. Absolutely none. Um, I will say this, though. A lot of people are like, yo, Sanji, just go invisible because he's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> but he ain't going invisible with Vegapunk in his arms, I guess, huh? He's not that fast with Vegapunk in his arms. Because if so, he probably wouldn't have gotten caught by, you know, a light man when they were passing light speed pre-time skip. So, so it's, fast, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. So it's very interesting that we have two admirals. One was an, One's an admiral. One's an ex-admiral. Both of the people that they are very, they have a lot of adoration for, got holes punched through them. Garp had a frozen icicle through his stomach to clog up or cauterize his wound. Kazaro seems to be doing the same thing because he hit the same exact spot where uh, Saturn ended up stabbing him. Um, then we have his heart rate, you know, maybe flatlining. Uh, we don't know if it's really flatlined, but he does. It does seem like after Kazaro shot, like used his sword on him. And he looked back and his shades were dark and he had like the drip of sweat. He w- It seemed like, yeah, I'm hoping that he's okay because I did that. Like he's not hemorrhaging anymore. Again, Lawrence, I get what you mean. Kazaro hasn't had a very good showing. But to me, he's still not trying, bro. He's most likely not trying. And it's making, looking, it's making Luffy look really good. I will say that. Um, the next thing I did want to point out is that uh, Luffy, his little hat didn't get bigger. Yeah. But I think because he's able to affect the environment, he affected the string so it wouldn't break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why his string is so much longer. Listen, I I don't. I've been saying it. I don't know if the Gorosei is really strong, bro. I think they just have some crazy hacks, and once it's figured out, they're getting bodied. <laughs> I think that Kazaro is actually stronger than Saturn for sure. I, I think because he's not trying, in my opinion, this is his weakest showing. But he's still, like, comparable to Saturn. You know what I'm saying? Luffy saying that they ain't not going anywhere, that was super dope. Lawrence just talked about it last chapter. Yo, I need Luffy to start being serious. If not, how much is this freedom thing affecting his fights? How, like, for example, Lawrence is right. He was jumping around, not even, taking it even seriously. just now. He probably could have just saved Vegapunk with, like, a thought. or He could have did something. He could have brought him somewhere really quick and then came back. Because um, from from what it looks like, Kazaro ain't stopping him, bro. He ain't even trying. Um, Honestly. So it makes you think. He If he is passing away and Sanji is in, you know, has him in his arms and he's smiling, it's Vegapunk a D. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kuma passed. Mm-hmm. Oda, Odin passed. Like, there's been non-Ds that have smiled and passed. Yo, but we have never gotten confirmation if they were Ds or not. Okay, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Vega D-Punk? Yeah. That, that's a very interesting thought. But, uh, I, but I do notice that all those people got inspir- inspired and had associations with D-members. Like, Rogers, Odin. Vegapunk ain't no different. Vegapunk with Dragon and Luffy and Kuma with Dragon and Luffy. Like... Yo, at, from... It, it, looked like anybody, it looked like anybody could be a D-Clan member if they just so chose to, bro, in my opinion. Um, I think there's two parts to it. Yeah, there might be. Yeah. Um, Actual uh, lineage, like that, and then also inherited will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 
So um, what's really interesting is that all right. So let's say, you know Vegapunk passes away. He goes into like this Doctor Arnum <laughs> Yo, Zola, bro, yeah. like from Captain America yeah. Winter Soldier. Yeah. He goes into the computer. He, he announces. I do not think that he's going to tell the world that emo exists because if so, then Dragon wouldn't have had to learn that from Sabo. True. 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 Right. True. True. Uh, I. It may go into the ancient weapons history. I don't know, but I'm very much on Lawrence's side. I said it to my reaction. I do not want to see us get told the truth. Not yet. Not yet. I want to learn when the Straw Hats learned. There's no reason we're trying to find four road pony glyphs to make it to this certain island for Robin to literally learn what happened and then to tell us the truth. Because like Rayleigh said, I can tell you the truth right now. Luffy gets on the stage, mm -hmm. um, on the bar, and he goes, Usopp, come! Because <laughs> he was like, Usopp was like, yo, I want to know. And he was like, yo, I don't want to spoil the trip. Don't spoil my adventure. Mm -hmm. When we watch One Piece um, Stampede with our boy Bullet, mm -hmm. what was the, the price? Shout out to Bullet, yo. We had the Laugh Tale. Um, the uh, Eternal Pose. Yeah. Eternal yeah. Log Pose. What did Luffy do? Crushed it. To me, I'm a part of the Straw Hats, bro. <laughs> I'm a part of the journey. Yeah. I want to learn when the Straw Hats learn. Right. But I don't want to learn when the world learns. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe Robin knows, and then they send out like this mass message through uh, Morgans, and then Morgan tells the truth. I, th I feel like that's so much better than doing what Vegapunk's about to do. What yeah. if Luffy breaks the machine while he's trying to... <laughs> It'd be interesting too. Like, like it depends on what the truth is, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he could go for the voice entry. He could say what the Gorosei members really are. But then, what does that leave for Laugh Tale? Yeah, and especially too, we just got introduced about the man with the burn scar. There's no need finding him. Yeah, if it's I know just, the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the two, the truth is that we're supposed to learn on Laugh Tale is supposed to be subjective. It's supposed to be interpreted how you see fit. That yeah. was Rayleigh's whole stick. Was like, yo, you might learn something. You might understand this differently than yeah. we did. Right. I, I don't know if this is the best way to tell the truth. Um, I'm not going to lie. It kind of makes me nervous. It kind of gives me that Toki vibe. Like, Toki could have broke the show if she so chose to. Yeah. Vegapunk's on the verge of breaking the show. I don't That's know. That's why he had to go. Yeah. <laughs> but then I, I, I guess it's the other part of me that we're fans of the show. This is what keeps us reading. And it's like, how do we feel after we learn the truth from this point forward? Does it does it mean anything? Like, is it just as enticing as it was before? I don't know. I, I'm very much on Lawrence's side, though. I think this is the wrong way to tell the truth if it does happen. And then if it does, if he does tell the truth and the Straw Hats don't find out, and now we got to tiptoe eggshells mm. around this That's truth. It's just going to be annoying. Man. It's just... Or just blue balling us as usual for like three hundred plus chapters. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but no, but I still take. A, I feel like it'll still take away because then everyone knows except the Straw Hats and, and like, whatever, whatever island they go to next. I just I, guess, like, I just don't want the journey to be a scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't want Laugh Tale to just be something stupid at the at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like I want it to mean something. Yeah, like we've been yeah. working towards that forever. Like then it also makes Roger's journey pointless. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could have just linked up with Vegapunk, bro. Yeah. So it's like, but the thing is too, it's like, okay, the question is, why didn't Vegapunk tell the truth to Dragon? Because obviously Dragon don't know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, it's like what we like. What is like? How much has Dragon actually? Because Dragon been not Nika, bro. Vegapunk know he not. Yeah. But he better tell it to the world though. So. Because Nika around now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, took it I feel like also the Straw Hats are supposed to be special. They're supposed to be the ones that achieve find that one piece doing with this. If you're just giving everyone, you're taking away the. The specialness that they're the ones to do it. They're the the ones that bring the dawn. They're mm -hmm. the ones that uh that overcame everything. They're the ones that next conquer the sea. You give all this, it's like, what's the point it's, of being their pirates? It's kind of like you said, Seth. Like when Van Auger just bodied Cracker, for, and we were like upset about it, right? You were like, yo, it literally craps on Luffy's adversity in his yeah. journey. Like, why did we go through all of this just for like Vegapunk to tell us? Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, I'd rather Luffy find out first after Robin tells him, and then we find out. And that's how it goes, bro. We 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 the we earned woman. that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we invested so much. Please don't cheap us. Yeah, mm -hmm. like don't do us this way. 
So maybe I'm one of those people that just feels like that, and that's okay. Usually people hate what I got to say anyway. But for me to enjoy the story, don't tell me, bro. Yeah, I agree. Don't tell me, bro. So. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, guys, uh, that's the end of the chapter. That's the end of our review. Um, we have 15 minutes left. We have a lot of Super Chats to get to. If we read all of them, we're going to go into phone calls. If not, we're just going to do Super Chats. So before you leave, before you go, please like the video. Uh, if you haven't had time yet on Apple Podcasts or Spotify to give us five stars, please do. And yeah, let's just read these Super Chats and then we'll go off. All right, I'll try to be quick. We got five Australian dollars from Silly Bugger. It says, loving the show from Australia. Do you think Luffy's secret dream will mirror Blackbeard's dream of usurping Emu in some way? Cheers, guys. Probably. I think they should be. They should go hand in hand. They should be two sides of the same coin. To me, same as Black. But they no. said that Luffy's dream is absurd, like taking down Emu to he, his throne. He's saying mirror it in some way. So. But we don't know Luffy's dream. We don't know if Luffy's dream is to take down Emu and become king of the world. Mm -hmm. Another five from Yellow Frog King. Do you guys think the Straw Hats will return to Wano after they go to Elbaf? Hashtag yeah, 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 we paid. Hashtag Larry got a big head. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm good on going back to Wano, but I feel like they got to. I it's don't know part if they the have story. to. Somebody got to go back yeah, to Wano. It's part of the story to yeah. actually go back. Another 10 from Victor Hate. It says, could we be wrong about Blackbeard going after an ancient weapon after, and he will go after Emu instead? We see Blackbeard in a fight similar to that of Luffy versus Kaido. I want to see those two clash. So there's been a lot of discussion recently about Blackbeard and Emu, who's going to be the final villain with the newer, with these newer chapters and stuff. Like, would Blackbeard usurp that role as the final villain? Yeah, it should be Blackbeard. I, I think it should still be Emu at the end of the day. I think Blackbeard should get taken out first. If I think it should still be Emu, but it should, like, we all kind of think that uh, Pluton, the ancient weapon, might be a ship. Blackbeard's trying to get hands on a battleship, whatever. That this two thing, this could become the ship that Blackbeard get acquires. Listen, bro, he about to have two ancient weapons if it really <laughs> comes to pass. He move about the y'all. If y'all just gonna have to accept the way I accept that, he's just gonna be that guy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like no earning either. It's just. Oh, what what just happened? He just got it. I mean, it could for me. It could be either or. Honestly, it could be Blackbeard or Emo. It makes I understand both. Yeah, where's the chat? You good, bro? No. Oh, here we go. It's back. I lost chat for two seconds, y'all. My bad. All right. We got another 10 from Firearms. It says, thank you for the wishes. Much love. Anytime, man. Anytime, bro. Another two euros from Jan VHB. It says, thank y'all for making every Monday evening a blast. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another five from Mama Kid. It says, what's good, T.O.P.T.? Hype for the pot today. Got a question for y'all. If Roger never got sick, what do you think he would have chose to do with the rest of his life? He would have chose Roche. <sighs> yeah. He would have raised Ace. If Roger never gets sick, does he even have Ace? Yes. Because he intentionally was like, I can't do it. I'm going to have a son who can do it. Listen, bro. You know what I'm saying? He knew Rouge was waiting back home with that thing. We don't even know that. He might have met Rouge after. We don't know. I see both because he might train Ace to do the... Because Ace for instance, even exists, though. No, I think so. Because, for instance, if Roger thinks I'm going to wait 20 years to do it, does he think I'm going to have the strength to do that? 20, 20 years, like, I'm 50-something years old. 20 years, I got to wait to do this. What do you think I'm capable of doing it at my old age? He's 78, right? Yeah, he'll be around 76, no. 78. I don't know. Or like, so I'm, I think you would train Ace to do that. Whether Ace would do it, that's a different story. Mm. Yeah. Another five from our guy Nerd Taku it says, "Much love, guys." Smoothie, the only answer. By the way, what about Doll? <laughs> VA stocks stay in the dirt. <laughs> the gap to admirals is wild. Hashtag legs for days. Hashtag ring me out, girl. Hashtag <laughs> why law bear. Hashtag troll set. <laughs> love you, Taku. Another Thank two you, Taku. from Luis Rodriguez it says, "We will find out what VP was saying about the Bucks." That'd be a good uh, one. Truth about the world and the Buccaneers? Like, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's Lunar. Yeah, I, I can accept that one yeah. to a degree. Another five. Yeah, I don't know how much From Kirby, it says two Elbaf predictions. First, the Giants probably use giant hockey special to them, like the Fishmen. Second, God D. Usopp will wield the ancient weapon Mjolnir. 
ancient weapon meal in there? That's a lot, bro. And fishman karate and hockey are two separate things. Are they, though? Yeah, yeah. Another five from Virgil for DLC. It says, what's up, fam? Do y'all think the Goro say letting Saturn come back to the crib if this information gets leaked? Ooh. Hashtag, it's Lionel. <laughs> it's just spelled, it's spelled poorly. Um, Emu not going to be cool with F-ups. I'll say that. Do you think Emu's going to have the rest of the Goro say stomp out Saturn? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy if Emu just eats him. <laughs> like absorbs his power or just, just eats eat him because he's hungry I eat your brain to gain your knowledge <laughs> <laughs> another five from Anthony Herrera says what's up gang what's y'all favorite girl scout cookies oh the chocolate chip mint ones bro. hashtag don't say thin mints yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the, the Samoas yeah, I love Samoans. the Samoas, bro. Like, bro, it's Thin Mints, bro. Stop capping. Everybody <laughs> needs to stop capping. Thin Mints are good, bro. but Samoas all day, yeah, every day. Those Thin bro. Mints are crazy, bro. Mm, yeah. well, no. Uh, thin Mints and uh, thin Samoas. They had ice cream, remember that? What? Yeah, they did. Number 10 from Ethan French. It says, started watching recently, and this is my first live I've seen. What do you guys think about the theory that the One Piece is Binks Sake? Somebody brought this up a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, it's been brought up before. Yeah. Um, Better not be. I, just, I want more than that. It's got to be dope yeah. how I want to play it. Another five from Brazilian Volleyballs. Vandy Auger is now my favorite Blackbeard Pirate. <laughs> Usopp better tighten up in Albaf. <laughs> Love y'all, boys. Thank you, Brazilian. Uh, thank, thank, you, you, thank, you. thank you. Another five from Zoro Top One. Oda hasn't showed the nuance of Gear 5 yet. When he first grabbed Kizaru, he was okay, yet this time he bleeds when Luffy gets serious. Pre peak Luffy fights. Um, this isn't that yet. I'll say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. Yeah. Another two from Faria says, that was not Luffy. That was Nika right there. <laughs> Maybe. I doubt that. Another 20 from Connor says, I think Johnny will join the fleet. Sailing with the Pacifista as a last adventure with her father protecting, prote- for father's protection, cheering for Nika. With the Vegapunk truth coming to Morgan's, is Vivi going to tie back in as the 10th straw hat? That's a lot of... Mm. Nuanced questions there. Yeah, Connor. Who's, who's talking about Johnny? What are you talking about? Bonnie. Bonnie. Joining I heard Netflix. Johnny. What's Bonnie? I heard John. You okay? <laughs> no. Um, I can see Bonnie joining the fleet. I, I'd like that. If she, I mean, I, I've always wanted Kuma to just pass, but like Kuma and her sailing together and like a on the fleet kind of. I, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. would make a book pass. And she like uses him like a toaster. <laughs> that would be dark. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad, for the toast. Like, come on, bro. Another He's two from Kirby. He getting that bread. Yo, would it be crazy if, like, what's her name? Sugar just turns into a doll so he doesn't pass? Is that darker? So he's just a toy? Yeah, Bonnie wouldn't remember him. Uh, yeah, I was oh, about to say. Right. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. That, that would be the darkest yeah, part of yeah. it. <laughs> Lawrence, you good? Yeah, I know, oh, man. <laughs> Another two from Kirby. It says, Vegapunk ate the Gunna Gunna Fruit Model Rico. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, bro. He's snitching, yo. Whether y'all want to admit it or not, he's snitching. Uh, we got another subscription to Yonko status from Larry. Are you? Why is it a lobster? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it a lobster? A lobster, lobster, lobster. lobster. Nothing too from Alan Richter. It says, y'all make Mondays bearable. Hashtag Larry should be a lawyer. Honestly, <laughs> I know a few lawyers. Larry, Larry could do it. <laughs> five from Demarcus Wells. It says, "Hey guys, just want to show you my appreciation for the pod. Oh, thank you. Really enjoyed Larry's reaction vid a couple days ago. Said be trolling hard, always, man. <laughs> <laughs> the troll king. And we got twenty from our guy Shonen Showdown. It says, hey. "My guys, I feel ya on Re- Vega Punk revealing too much, but." I'm more excited that he'll shake up the world like Whitebeard did when he confirmed the One Piece is real with a crying emoji. Just imagine how Shanks, Buggy, and Blackbeard will react. That is our guy Shonen. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to Shonen Showdown. He does fire content on YouTube, uh, tier lists, boards. He goes to, to cons. He has comedy yeah. stuff that he does with our other guy Sundays. Seriously, great content over there. As for... The message for Vegapunk? Um, it depends on what you want to see. I mean, 
the, everybody's saying avoid 1109 leaks. Oh, God. Yeah, so... I don't know what to say. It depends on what you want from the story, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. when you want it from the story. And that's up to everybody, so... I'm very much on Lawrence's side. I'll tell you that. No, I agree. Yeah. I'm not gonna be satisfied. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I, it. I think Vegapunk has to say something that just is completely different from what we are afraid it will be. Yeah. Like maybe he can say something where like it adds more questions. That's Oda's forte right there. Yeah. yeah like he mm -hmm. he has to say something where I'm like, huh? What does that mean? But. It also can't be like he can't give me the whole slice, the yeah. whole cake, bro. I need you don't a slice. You want the whole load? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you What do you mean? <laughs> You're canceled. <laughs> You're canceled. All right, uh, shout out to Shonen, man. We got yeah, another you, eleven you. euros from Larry the Lobster. It says, "Just wanted to wish all four of you a very nice day." Thank you, Larry. Oh, thank you. Thank appreciate you. It. Appreciate thank that. You. Another. Two from Richard Watson Embry. It says Don Flamingo is on a cover. Is he out of prison? Um, no, he's not. He's still in prison. That was a reader request. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's talking about when he was on the tree and the he had a, a the bird had like free, a bump on his head. Free the boy. Um, <laughs> free the guy. Another five from Terrence Matthews. Our biggest hater. <laughs> Just want to point that out. Uh, Catarizing a wound. The wound would. You you reaching hard, Larry. Also, Lawrence, put some respect on Luffy's name. This isn't something to sleep on Kazaru for. Well, at least he got the later half right. <laughs> <laughs> Another two from Who Cares. It says Vegapunch gonna snitch Krakow Mama's legit cannon. Oh my god. <laughs> this is <laughs> definitely not. But uh, that's all the soups for now. And yeah. We about to end the show. Yeah, so. everybody. Thank you so much for all the super chats. I did put a poll up for final villain, Blackbeard or Emu. Blackbeard has the edge, fifty-one percent to forty-nine. So they're they're torn. That's two hundred and twenty-five votes. So it's it's down the middle. I I just don't. So put it this way, right? If if Emu is supposed to be the final villain and Blackbeard's supposed to be the hurdle, <coughs> then wouldn't that mean like since we don't have enough time in the story that Blackbeard and Luffy will probably team up to fight him, and then Luffy has to fight Blackbeard at the end of that? No, I think he has to fight Blackbeard to beat him and become Pirate King, and then after he's Pirate King, he fights Emu. That's me. I feel like those are the steps, but... I mean, what's what's all this Blackbeard hype for, then? Why give him two ancient weapons? Still, why why give him all that he needs? You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I get what you're saying, but Pirate King is still Luffy's goal. Like, Emu is just... A, like He may be a final opponent, but that's not Luffy's goal. It might Emu might tie into Luffy's dream, maybe, but Luffy's goal is to become Pirate King. And that's the person who actually stands in his three, way. Three-way three battle? I feel that'd yeah. That'd be crazy. I feel yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like, that that takes away the final villain type vibe. Right? I, I, I kind of feel like, all right, you could argue as, all right, who's, which Luffy's biggest obstacle to become Pirate King? But also, Luffy becoming Pirate King, who's Luffy's biggest op then? Because it's Eam when he's become Pirate King. Because that's, that's the main thing why they... The reason they wanted to pass Roger is because what he achieved. They don't. The world government doesn't want that. But I guess you could argue the biggest obstacle to become Pirate King is essentially Blackbeard. But as Pirate King, it's Eam. I think the better question is: Does Blackbeard just take out Emu before Luffy can? Because it's so be crazy. Then, but... then it's like, all right, Blackbeard is actually the final villain. And Luffy achieving his dream would allow him to. Like he wouldn't have to have that. Like. Oh, I have to take on the world government. But I do think that, like, then when do we get the Akainu fight? Like, there to me, there does need to be a stance that Luffy takes against the world government. Yeah. Because he's taken the, like, for my friend's stance, but he hasn't done it for the world. And I guess that's not exactly Luffy's character. But overall, like, I still think it has to happen, right? Like, Blackbeard's going to be the champion of, that takes yo, out the world government? Yo, real talk. <laughs> that's like, crazy. Like, Sabo might just handle Akainu then. Chill out. Chill, oh, my oh my God, bro. <laughs> Sebastian by drop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. You talking about all this, this black bear, all, all this black bear plot. Uh, <laughs> what, what? Sabo, part of the revolutionaries whose direct <laughs> her objective is to take out yo, Celestial Dragon. Take out the Celestials and the world why, government, why? not hold Akainu, on, bro. Hold on. Why, why Sabo don't get the plot to take out Akainu then? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. 
We don't have time. Oh, we don't. Yeah. Oh, we got. We don't. We got one minute. We can argue. We can argue in the parking lot if you want. The nine Listen, do exist. We got thirty uh, thirty euros from Larry. It says, "Love you guys. Love you too, man. Thank love you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you and another you. five thank from Mama you. Kid. It says, "I think Vega Punk will say Nika is alive without mentioning Luffy's name and that the government is corrupt." Check in my head. Hashtag Vega Punk a rat. <laughs> but that's all the soups. Yo, listen, it's still stitching. Whether he's doing the right thing or not. I know if he just doubts that Nika about Nika being like the hope or whatever, and this mm. is the truth, I would appreciate I would that because not dig down into the void century, but doing that. Yeah, well, that most is, people don't even know who Nika is. Yeah. That's my problem. They don't know an angry Nika. No <laughs> <laughs> <Real> rap <off. laughs> Anyway, guys, if you haven't liked the video just yet, please, before you leave, like the video, it supports us greatly. I want to thank everybody who happened to super chat and want to talk to us. And thank you to all our listeners that are currently either at work, driving, or just doing their thing in life. We want to appreciate you especially. And to all the people that say that we make Mondays a little bit better, thank you for that yeah, nice comment you. as well. Yeah, appreciate uh, it. You guys definitely make our Monday better as too. Uh, but other than that, uh, my name is Larry. Lawrence. Lionel. Seb. And this is that one piece song. Jana! Jana.